qualities to ensure our customers are successful. We work hard to give our customers 100% effort in everything we do, and we're dedicated to our customers' success. Good luck to all our area teams from your team at Avala Bank. Avala Bank, member FDIC. When it comes to sports, injuries, and pain, call the specialists at Suppy Chiropractic Clinic with Dr. Mike Suppy and Dr. Jack Janning. Dr. Suppy and Dr. Janning work closely with area athletes and teams in providing effective treatments and rehabilitation of sports-related injuries. For optimal sports performance, call Dr. Mike Suppy and Dr. Jack Janning at Suppy Chiropractic Clinic today, 792-6026. We can stop by their clinic at 1420 Highway 71 North in Carroll. Proud sponsors of all area teams. And good evening, everybody, and welcome out here to the Mackey Motors pregame show. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. We're coming to you live here tonight from the Gatorade broadcast booth distributed by Pepsi Beverages in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes feel, recover, and perform. And if you heard me here a moment ago with Coach Ray Ro- Rowetter, being joined by Cade Shable here tonight. Cade, I was talking to you earlier. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, been, I've been watching you play for a lot of years. It's fun to get to work with you in the booth tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a fun night to be with you. Cade, what are you looking forward to here tonight? You've seen both of these Tiger games earlier this season. Where did you see that growth for this team from week one to week two? Uh, the growth was from the running game. They got their running game figured out in week two. It wasn't working for them week one. Um, and when they got their run game working week two, it was gave Gilbert fits last week. And also they got their passing game going again too. So last week they were firing on all cylinders. I'm looking for them to do it again tonight. What kind of change for them? Was it just getting into another week that kind of changed and just getting a little bit more comfortable in the new offensive scheme? Yes, yeah, so it was just getting more comfortable. You know, um, it was week one, two weeks ago, so they were just had those first game jitters, but uh, they got their jitters out of the way for week two and got everything sharpened up. So they're all... All ready to go for the rest of the season, hopefully. You mentioned first game jitters kind of out of the way um, from that opener against Dennis and Slushwig in which they fell here at home. You're just a year removed. What are those first game jitters like for us old timers who have been gone for a long time from playing? What's it like to try and fight through those nerves on that season opener? Uh, it's, it's very challenging because, you know, you've been practicing for so long and you've just been beating on each other in practice. So you're really chomping at the bit to go after another team and when you get a little antsy you kind of start to make mistakes so you just got to kind of got to kind of play play relaxed and uh just have fun you were an outstanding defensive player during your time here at carol i bring that side of the ball up because you heard coach talking about mr schubert an outstanding quarterback who can run or beat you with his arms what do the tigers need to do tonight to slow him down contain him because he's the one guy that might be able to hurt them here this evening yeah the defensive ends on the line need to contain the outside edges and then if he tries to run up the middle you got to have your linebackers fill in gaps and uh just give him fits and then it'll be should be going the tigers way tonight and got to bring up a sad thing see caden cook out there with the boot on right now one of those great young guys on this tiger team is that a rallying point, do you think, for this Carroll team, um, that he's injured and not out on the field with him right now? Because this is a guy that I know they were looking for big things from this year. Yeah, they were looking for really big things. He put in a lot of work in the off season just for this season, but uh, broke his foot in the scrimmage. So I think it could be a rally, uh, rallying point uh, for the Tigers this year just to give him something to be proud about his senior year not being able to play but uh the tigers are doing very well so i gotta ask it's your third game in the booth it's your first time working with me if there's a play over here on the sidelines do i need to worry about you getting back into that mentality you're going to tackle me here in the booth tonight no i shouldn't <laughs> <laughs> Kate, I appreciate you joining us here tonight. Again, we're going to step away. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back kickoffs in 30 seconds here on kcim as the parent of a student athlete family owned and operated since 1948 quant auto salvage is the area's best full service scrap facility whether you are looking to sell scrap iron vehicles or batteries or you need to locate that difficult to find part for your vehicle they have what you need and if it isn't in stock they can locate it with their nationwide parts database or you can pull it yourself at their you pull it quant auto salvage they sell the best and recycle the rest on kitty hawk avenue in carroll Thomas 
Jefferson going to be kicking things off here tonight with a Daniel Espinoza back at deep for the Carroll Tigers. Uh, is going to be Zach Dirks and Remy Richardson, two guys with great speed. Carroll will go left to right across your radio dial here this evening, and that means that uh, Thomas Jefferson going to be going up from right to left. We are set for action. The whistle is here, and it is time for Carroll Tiger football here on KCIM. It is a low line drive kick. It's going to go over to Richardson. He'll pick it up on the 16-yard line. He fakes the reverse to Dirks. He's got running room out here to the 30, 35, 40. Picks up a wall, gets the midfield. He's at the 40, 35, going to be tripped. Nope, no, he gets the sidelines, stumbling and falls down inside the 10-yard line. Going to be marking him down right at the 10-yard line. Cade almost took that one to the house. They had that play set up beautifully. Yes, they had it set up perfectly from the get-go. They did the fake with Zach and Remy, the both state track kids. So having the fake to Zach kind of gave Thomas Jefferson the idea of, oh, Zach's going to get the ball. But uh, Richardson kept it and just stumbled on his own, kind of <laughs> kind of tackled himself there at the 10-yard line. Yeah, had to heist up a guy at about the 30. And you thought he had got by him, and then I don't know if one of the blades grab, jumped up and grabbed him a little bit, but uh, he stumbled down. Tigers will come out for their first off of possession. Nick Mackey out here split to the right. Langling Ling will go under center. We'll give you the Tigers starting offensive line and everybody here in just a moment. Zach Dirk goes in motion from left to right. Langling Ling takes it, fakes the handoff, gives it off to Ludwig, and Ludwig going to fight his way forward for about a two-yard gain. That'll be a pickup down to the eight-yard line. It'll bring up second down at eight. Starting across the front five for the Tigers tonight, Col Colton Wheeland at left guard, D Dylan DeMay at left tackle, Nolan Moore at center, Connor Nace at uh, right guard, and Everett Sampson at right tackle. You got Gus Collison and Evan Hammer, your tight ends. Remy Richards and Zach Dirks are your wide receivers. Cooper Ludwig is the tailback, and uh, Ethan Lingling is your quarterback. Lingling again under center. Hand off, little stretch play to the left side with Ludwig. He'll fight his way down inside the five, down to the four yard line. It's going to bring up third down now and goal to go. A pick up that time of about four for Ludwig. Let's take a quick look at that uh, defense here tonight uh, for Thomas Jefferson. Tyler Drews and Santiago Martinez are the defensive ends. McKinley Miesel and Blake Witzel are your down linemen. The linebackers are Reese Slotfeld, Blake Binow, also Devin Bovey. The cornerbacks are at Brayton Kaus and also uh, you've got uh, Lane Toman. Again, they'll send it. Dirks in motion. They're going to hand it off. Zach trying to get the edge. He's pushed back out to the 10, trying to use that speed, but he's going to be caught from behind and tackled back at around the six-yard line. A loss of two on the play, and we'll bring in now, Cade. Uh, Cade, what have you seen here so far from the Tigers? Uh, so far, pretty pretty good. Um, Thomas Jefferson's kind of blowing up holes. Uh, Cooper had a nice stretch play out to the left, but uh, just the left guard there, or left tackle, I should say, didn't get that DN quite hooked, so Cooper got about a two-yard gain. So now they're going to have to bring on Elijah Lee. You had the great kickoff return. You're going to have to settle. You hate to say it, but settle for a field goal, but you still want to get points on the board. Yes. And Elijah Lee is an outstanding uh, kicker. He is one of two on field goals this year. 24 yards is longest. This one here is going to be from about to 23. The kick is up. It is good. And the Carroll Tigers have taken the three to nothing lead here tonight on the kick by Elijah Lee. We'll step away. 9:51 left in this first quarter. We're back in one minute right here on KCIM. At Team Auto Group in Dennis, and their people want and deserve more comfort, efficiency, and reliability, both in their homes and places of work. Dries Company will be there to meet these challenges, whether we are designing a new system or servicing your existing equipment. We are a rapidly growing company that strives to meet and exceed all your expectations. No matter if you are looking to buy new appliances or need the help from one of our certified technicians, we are here for you. We pride ourselves in our installation and service. Dries Company, servicing the Carroll area since 1933.
on 1380 AM, 95.1 FM, KCIM. Jeff Blankman along with uh, Kate Chable tonight coming to you live from the Gatorade broadcast booth distributed by Pepsi Beverages in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. Tigers leading in here by a score of 3 to nothing as Elijah Lee goes up back to kick. That kick is going to be a deep. It's going to be a Joe Hands back there. He's going to let it bound into the end zone. So it will be Thomas Jefferson football at their own 20-yard line, and that is where they will start their first possession here tonight. We've got 9.51 still left in this first quarter of a play. Let's quickly run you through the starting offense here tonight for TJ. Tyler Drews, Isaiah Yancey, uh, Ashton Subert, uh, Tanner Gardner, and also McKinley Miesel are the offensive linemen. The wide receivers are Blake Beanow, J.J. Johans, Victor Tuper. Actually, that's Lane Toman starting for him, and uh, Brayton Kaus, the starters. And now we've got a flag before the first snap. Ashton Subert is the quarterback, and Devin Bovey is the tailback here tonight. Let's go ahead and see what the call is. Illegal substitution on the offense. Five-yard penalty still remains first down. So a five-yard penalty for TJ going to pack them, back them up on their opening possession here tonight. That'll make it first down and 15. For the Tigers defensively, Dominic Sims and Tanner Pontow are your defensive ends. Anthony Richard and Colton Wheeland are your down linemen. The linebackers are Gus Collison, Cooper Ludwig, Nolan Moore, and Peyton Wardell. Remy Richardson, Nick Mackey, and Jack White are your defensive. Back shotgun formation now for Schubert. He's going to take the snap, looks out, pass is complete. Remy, Remy Richardson on the tackle. He finds it breaking cross on a little slant pattern. So they'll go from the 15 out to a around the 24 yard line. That is gonna be a pickup of nine on the play. It'll bring up second down and five. Yeah, Richardson kind of had that ball read perfectly. Schubert never took his eyes off where he wanted to go and Richardson almost had a pick on that play. You mentioned the defensive ends here earlier, Tanner, Pont Tanner Ponto. I know a guy that coach really, really excited about this year. What have you seen from him? Uh, he's really quick off the ball and uh, gives a lot of Offensive tackles fits because of his speed and his, he's just so lanky. So Pass complete again on second down and finding a little bit of running room that time. Again is Kowson. He's going to fight his way out past the 30, out to the 32-yard line, a pickup of eight on the play. He got a lot of that one on his own after the catch. So right now, TJ coming out pretty physical, even though they're throwing the football. Yeah, they're coming out really physical. Um, kind of got hit as he caught it, but uh, just kind of muscled his way to get extra yards and had a had a little help from his teammates pushing him forward. Amos Rasmussen, a 64-yard touchdown run. I came in leading Woodbury Central 7-0 early first quarter. Shotgun formation again for Schubert. He's got trips to the right, one wide receiver to the left. Runs the option. He's going to keep it, and he's going to be hit nice defense that time. That's going to be a loss of a yard. Might give him the original line of scrimmage, but I think it was a loss of maybe a half a yard or so. It's going to bring up second down. Let's call it around it 10 yards to go. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Dominic Sims and then that Peyton Wardell outside linebacker had that read perfectly. One cover the running back and then Sims was on the receiver so or on the quarterback. So kind of read that perfectly, kept it, and then they just jumped the gun and got the quarterback. Uh, Tuper and Joe in split out here to the left. One wide receiver to the right. They've got a slot on the left side. Pistol formation this time for Schubert. Second down and 10. 7.59 left first quarter. Quick pass out to Joe Hansen. Caught and he is hit and stuck immediately. Gus Collison read that one. Blew right through the blocker and makes the tackle for a two-yard loss. Yeah, really great read by Gus Collison. Came from the outside linebacker position probably 10 to 15 yards out of the play and just saw that little screen play coming and just blew it up. He's a guy that I thought last year played really well. How have you seen him grow from last season to this already? Uh, he's took in the leadership role a little bit. Uh, last year he had to kind of be in our shadows and let us lead him, but uh, he's took what we've taught him, and he's taken it really well and made him made him really special this year. Third down and long now for TJ. Ball over here on the left hash mark. Twins to the right and twins to the left. Shotgun formation again for Schubert. Looks left to pass through the fingertips that time. Kaus was the intended receiver. Richardson again with the coverage. Get to bring up fourth down and a punting situation. Right now TJ throwing a lot of short passes. Probably worried about that pressure that Carroll can put on but you got to figure they're going to set something up later in the game to go deep. Yeah I I definitely think that they'll set something up later in the game, just kind of kind of getting the ball out quick so that uh, Schubert doesn't have to worry about Carroll's defensive lineman giving him pressure. Devin Bovey set to uh, kick it away as the punter here for TJ. Back deep. 
is Zach Dirks for the Carroll Tigers. He's setting up at the Tiger 43-yard line. Carroll should get very good field position out of this. They call for the snap. It's a good snap. No pressure. Very high but very short punt. Dirk's going to let it take a bounce at the 45. He gets out of the way, and that was one of those he probably should have maybe called for the fair catch. It's going to bound down to about the 25-yard line, and then that is where Carroll will have it first down and at 10. Seven minutes exactly left here in this first quarter. And you don't want to say anything bad, but that was one of those I'm sure right now coaches are over there talking to him. There was a lot of room. Just need to make that fair catch sign run up and secure that one, right? Yes, yes. Should have called for the fair catch. Give him a little better field position what they have now. Tigers started at the TJ-10 their first time. Now they're at their own at 25. Dirks will split out to the left. You got Mackey split out here to the right. First down and 10 for the Tigers. Lengling under center. He's got to Ludwig behind him. Two tight end set. They give it to Ludwig. Stretch play on the left side. He is hit and is stuck. B now comes up and hits him right at the 25-yard line. No gain on the play that time for Cooper Ludwig, and it's going to bring up second down and 10 to go. And right now, we had the one run for four yards, but the running's been tough to come by here so far. Yeah, it has been really tough for them. Thomas Jefferson's been doing really good at reading what the play is right away. Um, and that linebacker that made the tackle just kind of think he was untouched going after Cooper. So a little oh. better blocking by the Tigers. Man, motor and player of the game coming up following the ball game. Dirks goes in motion. They fake to him, fake to Ludwig. Lendling going to roll out now, looks downfield. He's got a couple of guys down there, and the pass is incomplete. He was looking for Evan Hammer, who had come all the way from the tight end on that left side. He came all the way across the field. He was out around the 36-yard line. Would have been enough for the first down, but it's through his fingertips. It's going to bring up third down now and 10 to go for the Tigers. OABCIG, an early touchdown, leading Isak right now 6 to nothing. That one early in the first quarter. Big third down right now for this Carroll offense. Yes, very big third down. Uh, looking to see, they're probably going to go with the pass, pass this play, but uh, you never know with them. So, Dirks again will split out to the left. Mackey will split to the right. We've got a man in the slot on the right side as well. Ling Ling in the backfield by himself out of the shotgun. Goes again for Hammer, and it is knocked away at the last moment. Hammer almost had that one out at around the 42-yard line. It'll fall incomplete, and the Tigers are going to go 1-2-3 here on their second possession of the night, and they will be forced to punt the football away with Elijah Lee. With the Western Iowa Networks, you get more, more speed when working from home, more movie time with family with no buffering, and more saving with locking in your internet price for two years. Call or text 712-775 at 2946 or go to westianet.com for details. Back deep is going to be Hayden Kramer. Actually, I think they moved Joe Hands back deep. Kramer was the guy normally back there, but it'll be Joe Hands. Moore with the punt. Very high, deep punt, driving him back. He's going to call for the fair catch. He'll make it at around the 32-yard line, and that is where TJ will start their second possession here of the ballgame. 6-0-4 remaining in this first quarter. Tigers on top right now by a score of 3 to nothing. And, uh, Cade, not exactly the start Carroll wanted. Got that big kick return. Turn that into a field goal, but I'm sure they would like to have gotten a touchdown, be up seven to nothing right now. Yes, they would have. Uh, not very much going offensively for the Tigers, yep. but uh, hopefully the coaches can figure it out when they get this break as the defense comes on the field. But uh, yeah, look for them to be more more productive on offense these next couple drives. Timeout on the field right now. We're going to go ahead and keep it here. I want to talk a little bit about New Way Ford uh, down in Coon Rapids. Of course, they sponsor sports on the go with me, giving me a vehicle to drive to all the different sporting events that I've been covering around the state for the last year. Our New Way Ford feature vehicle of the game is a 2018 Ford Escape. It's had one owner. It's a four-wheel drive, and it's got under 47,000 miles. You can call New Way Ford at 800-861-7268 for more details, or check out the Carroll Broadcasting website at uh, 1380kcim.com. We do have a picture with more details available there as well. Also want to give New Way Ford a shout-out. We've got Travis Brink standing out here to our left out in the back of the bleachers. He's running our video broadcast for us tonight. Our video is being powered, of course, by New Way Ford down in Coon Rabbit. If you want to watch and listen to Cade do the ball game tonight, then you can go to YouTube and search 1380kcim. And Cade, i got to give you a shout-out, man. So much nicer having you in here with Honnold. It's just a whole different feel in this press. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can say something. Uh, Honnold's yeah. given you enough hard time over yeah. the years, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I make it fun for you tonight. You certainly will. You certainly will. Schubert will come back out in the shotgun. He's got one running back back there with him. 
And that looks like Lane Toman, number eight. One wide receiver split out here to the left. Two to the right, actually trips to the right. A little bit of movement, and now we're going to get a flag. I thought I saw a flinch from Thomas Jefferson, but Carroll did have somebody jump across, and it is going to go against the Tigers. Still remains first down. First penalty on the Carroll Tigers here tonight, and it's going to bring up first down and five now for TJ. As they'll move the ball out near the 37-yard line. And they'll have it first down and 10, 6.04 left. Tigers are leading at TJ by a score right now of three to nothing. Schubert again out of the shotgun, trips out to the right, one wide receiver to the left. Yeah, Schubert going to roll towards the right. Nolan Moore giving chase. He's going to go deep downfield. We talked about there, there and the pass is caught. Heading out there and making the catch is at Toman, and he's going to catch it all the way down at the Tiger 18-yard line. Looks like we've got a flag down here at the line of scrimmage. That one may be coming back. Toman was down there celebrating, and for the Tigers, that might be a break, Cade, because he got yes. in behind the defense. Yes, he did. Uh, that was a really good throw by Schubert. Really big gain, and uh, the receiver just kind of Lined burned Mackey a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it was a really good throw by Schubert. Impressive arm that I've seen. An, an eligible lineman downfield going to go against a TJ, so that'll cost them some yardage. Now mark that penalty from the 37-yard line. And that is going to be the five-yard variety, of course, so that's going to bring up now first down and 10. So Carroll gives them five. They give those five back. We're kind of back to where we started with a first down and 10 from the 32-yard line. 5.50 left here and at counting in this first quarter. Carroll scored again on their opening possession, leading right now 3 to nothing. New Way Ford scoreboard show coming up following the ball game tonight. Schubert out of the shotgun, sends a man in motion. That is B now. They're going to hand it off for the first time tonight and powering his way forward and getting out to near the 35-yard line. A pickup of about three on the play is going to be at Schofield. And that'll bring up second down at about eight. Yeah, it's a good play by Thomas Jefferson, sending the man in motion, clearing out the one side, and then ran it back to the weak side. Nice play by the Tigers, though, as they caught him early. Looked like It looked at the beginning it was going to be a big game, but the uh, Tigers closed in on him. First carry of the season for Schofield. He hadn't even touched the ball out of the backfield, but he'll line up back there again. Johan splits out here to the left. We've got trips out to the right. Schubert again out of the shotgun. Carroll with four down linemen, two linebackers. They'll send a man in motion. And now Schubert looking to keep it started right. Cuts it back up the middle, showing some of that shiftiness. He'll pick up a first down out to the TJ 46-yard line, a pickup of about nine on the play, and that will move the chains. And that is just the second time we've seen Schubert keep one himself here tonight. And that time, Cade, we saw what Coach Rowetter was talking about. Yes, Schubert's a very dual-threat quarterback. He's got a really good arm, and he's dangerous on his feet, too. He showed off his shiftiness on that play and gave him gave Thomas Jefferson a first down. Coming to you live here from the Gatorade broadcast booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. First down and 10 from the 46-yard line of TJ. Ball near the right hash mark. Schubert out of the shotgun. He's got twins out to the right and twins to the left. He's going to hand the football off again, and Schofield going to dive forward. Didn't get much on that one. Maybe a yard on the play. They're going to give him the 48. Let's give him a pickup of a two on the play. And it'll bring up second down and eight to go. Seems like they've had the ball for a long time. They've already taken two minutes off the clock. Going to be just the fourth play of this drive coming up. Yeah, penalties and then those long plays. That pass play took up a lot of time. And uh, running the ball is just draining the clock down when you got to get time to get the play again. Two wide receivers again out to the right. Make that now trips. They'll put one wide receiver out here to the left. That is it, Joe Hans. And now we're going to get a whistle over on the far sideline. And do we have a timeout? Yep. Do we have an injured player? Yep, we do. Schofield coming off of the field. Bovey, who's their starting tailback, coming back in. So it wasn't really a timeout as much as it was to allow Schofield to, to come off of the field. He's taking the helmet off and kind of walking around over on the far side. you got to wonder, it's warmer today than it's been for a little while, so maybe the heat getting to him a little bit. Shotgun formation again. Pressure comes from the outside to get around Pontau. And now scrambling out is Schubert. He's going to keep it. Ducks and dives it down into Carroll territory at the 44-yard line. There'll be a pickup of eight on the play, and it's going to be very near another first down. Waiting to see, and it looks like they're going to give him the first down. Uh, Dominic Sims almost had that play blown up, just kind of over-pursued, and Schubert with his shiftiness just kind of made a little hesitation juke move on him and then just caught the edge and picked up a first down. 
Now we're seeing the kind of talent that young guy has. This cow's going to split out here to the left. Trips out to the right again for TJ. They'll come out in a shotgun formation. Bovi, the tailback, will line up to the right of the quarterback, Schubert. Tyre Carroll again with four down linemen. They got Nolan Moore, the middle linebacker, creeping up to the line a little bit. I don't think he's blitzing. He's not going to drop back into coverage. And now Schubert again going to be flushed out of the pocket. Gets away, looks downfield. He's got a man down there, and the pass is complete. And being tackled down inside the 15-yard line, down at around the 13-yard line is going to be B now. And that is going to be a pickup of about 31 on the play. And there is Schubert again scrambling and creating something with the legs. Yeah, with well, Schubert scrambling too it gives the receivers a chance to get open more so that receiver he was pretty well wide open had a couple guys just surrounded him five yards apart but uh Schubert has shown off his shiftiness tonight and now we've got a timeout on the field here again called I think by Thomas Jefferson as a as a lineman linebacker like you were how frustrating it is when you feel like you've got him got in the pocket and then all of a sudden he just takes a couple of steps out and then darts off to the right and gets away yeah it's, it's very frustrating especially when you know the quarterback he's very shifty he's got a lot of weapons uh you just kind of got to hope that your cornerbacks can see it and then help pursue j joe at joe hands runs on late he is going to split out here to the left along with apto schubert out of the shotgun Runs the option to the left side. They cut him back up the middle. Now he cuts it over to the right side. He found a hole back through. That was good vision that time. He'll get down inside the 10, down near the seven yard line. That's gonna be a pickup of six on another play that really looked like it wasn't going anywhere as uh, Carroll had a lot of pressure coming from the outside. Yeah, they had it set up as an option play, but uh, kind of faked the pitch and then kind of took it and wanted to go one way, but it was blocked so we had to cut back and go up the middle where there was a big hole. 3 nothing. Carroll minute 50 left in the first quarter. Second down and four from the Tiger 7 for TJ. Two wide receivers out here to the left. One in the slot on the left side. That is B now. Schubert out of the shotgun with Bovey in the backfield with him. They hand it off to Bovey and he is stuffed. Absolutely going nowhere. A loss of one on the play. That's a big stop for the Carroll defense. It's going to force now a third down and four. Now, depending on how good their, their field goal kicker is, they're probably in two down territory. Cade, what are you looking for right now with the TJ? I'm looking for them to either do a little short pass like they have earlier in their first couple drives or run that option play with uh, Schubert in there running back, but uh, have Schubert keep it, uh, use his shiftiness to try and get in the end zone. Lane Toman going to split out to the right. Also joining him out there is Joe Hans. They've got Cow split out here to the left. Shotgun formation again for Schubert with a bovie in the backfield. He is going to drop back. Pressure comes up the middle, hit as he throws it. They run the wide receiver screen to Kaus. It's caught, but he has hit immediately. Tigers read that one very well. Tackle at the eight-yard line. No gain on the play. It is going to bring up fourth down now, and still four yards to go to get the first down. Yeah, that they ran that quick pass like I thought they would and uh, just kind of ran into his own receiver, kind of stopped him a little bit and allowed the Carroll defender to come up and make a tackle and get him for no gain. They are going to have to run one more play here. The uh, game clock at 25 seconds, the play clock at 20. So they're going to have to go for it here or kick a field goal. It looks like they are going to set up for the field goal as uh, Daniel Espinoza has come on. Ball will be spotted at the 14-yard line, so it'll be a 24-yarder. Ball over here on the left hash mark. They're going to have to hurry up. They're going to have to call a timeout. And now the play clock runs down. I think they were trying to call a timeout. We'll see what the call is going to be. There is a flag out on the field. And they are going to give a timeout to Thomas Jefferson. We'll go ahead and we'll step away. We're going to be back in 30 seconds. Carroll leading it here 3 to nothing, But TJ setting up for a field goal. When you're thinking about Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and and Carol. Eighth play of the drive coming up for TJ. It started at their own 32 yard line. Trees People want and deserve more comfort, efficiency, and reliability, both in their homes and places of work. 
Dries Company will be there to meet these challenges whether we are designing a new system or servicing your existing equipment. We are a rapidly growing company that strives to meet and exceed all your expectations. No matter if you are looking to buy new appliances or need the help from one of our certified technicians, we are here for you. We pride ourselves in our installation and service. Dries Company, servicing the Carroll area since 1930. Your hometown Napa store not only offers you a large inventory of parts for autos, trucks, RVs, farm equipment, heavy-duty trucks, and small engines. Napa also offers you a complete machine shop service, hydraulic hoses, mixing for auto paints, and auto glass and windshield service. So whether it's replacement parts for under the hood or fun accessories for your exterior, make it a point to stop in and see what parts may fit your needs. Napa, because there are no unimportant parts. Highway 30 West in Carroll. Napa, your locally owned and operated parts store. Well, it's nice having technology. It doesn't always work. Sorry about that one-minute break. Espinosa did miss the field goal. Two seconds left here. Mackey goes in motion. They'll fake it to him. Give it off to Ludwig. He's got some running room up the middle. Nice way of weaving his way through. He's going to fight his way all the way out to the 37-yard line. A pickup of a 17 on the play. On the final play of this first quarter. We will step away. We'll take a break. I'll have Kate Chable tell you how the Carroll Tigers have built this 3 to nothing lead. We'll do that when we come back on a one-minute right Right here on 1380 AM, 95.1 FM, KCIM. Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. This is Iowa, and Avala Bank has called Iowa home since 1870. With 17 locations across the state, we're proud to be part of your community. Right now, you can open an Avala Bank Simply Free checking account for you or your business and get a new debit card immediately. We'll even buy your old bank's unused checks. Stop by or visit us online to see how we're making better banking available for you. Avala Bank, member FDIC. We welcome you back here on KCM. Quick update, South Central Calhoun leading Emmitsburg 7 to nothing. end of the first. I.K. Manning over Woodbury Central 7 to 6, end of the first. Here it's Carroll 3 to nothing over TJ. They have it first down in 10 at their own 37-yard line. Ball over on the right hash mark. Again, they give it off to Ludwig, and he is very slippery in the backfield. Another nice carry out past the 45, out to the 48-yard line. Another pickup of 11 for a Cooper Ludwig, and it's another first down for the Carroll Tigers, and now they've found that running game. Yes, they have. Last two plays have handed off to Ludwig, and Ludwig's had all the green grass in the world to run, so good job about the lineman giving Cooper something to work with and get positive yards. Langling comes over to the sideline to get the play. He'll hustle back into the huddle. Plenty of time. 19 seconds left on the play clock. Minute and 11.30 left, I should say, here in this first half. Roselle Mutual halftime report coming up. Carroll right now with a 3 to nothing lead. Langling out of the pistol formation. High snap turns, and there's a fumble, but it bounces back up to Ludwig, but that gave the defense enough time to come in and make the play and it was a Bovey coming in and making the stick at the line of scrimmage. There'll be no gain on the play. A lucky bounce that time for Carroll. Yeah, they're lucky just to get it back to the line of scrimmage. That ball looked like it was fumbled, but Cooper had it the whole way and just kind of lost track of both of them. So could have been worse, but uh, just back to the line of scrimmage now. Second down and 10 for the Tigers. Ball again in the middle of the field. TJ with four down linemen, three linebackers, two safeties. And a couple of cornerbacks. Tigers are going to put Dirks out here to the left. Mackey splits to the right. Pistol formation for Lingling. Wants to throw on first down. He's got four guys out. He's going for Dirks down the field. And the ball just overthrown. Might have been tripped a little bit. But I think the official going to feel like that ball may be a little bit out beyond his grasp. It might have been just overthrown a little bit. It'll fall incomplete. They certainly got their feet tangled up right at the end of that play. Yes, they did. Uh, the ball the ball was a really good ball, but uh, that little trip trip thing that happened with him just kind of made the ball just a little out of reach for Dirks but uh, it was a really good throw and Dirks had his man beat 
Yeah, a little fly planter and right down the side lane. Want to give you a moment here. Both your grandparents uh, on both sides here in the stands tonight. Hopefully got a radio listening to you here tonight. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, yep. Want to give them a quick shout out? Yeah, they're down there at the 40-yard line, so hopefully they can hear me. Um, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ling Ling with the pass. It is nearly picked off. Nearly jumping the pass play that time was Kaus. They were looking for Collison out there on the left side. Or is that Mackey? Nope, that's Collison. Is it number four? I have a hard time yep, seeing yep, the jersey, but it looks like Collison. They were trying to find him out on the flat over on the TJ sideline. The ball knocked away as Kaus jumped that passing lane. And it'll fall incomplete. And the Tigers now facing a fourth down and 10 from their own 47-yard line. So that little bobble on the handoff on first down kind of threw them out of the rhythm they were in. And Nolan Moore now going to punt the football away. Back deep is going to be at Joe Hands. Low line driver. That'll bounce. It's going to bounce up to him, though. Tigers have it pretty well defended on that left sideline, but he slips by a couple of guys. Finally going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to be inside the 30. Let's see where they mark him down. They're going to give him the 30. I thought he went out at about the 28, but I think they're going to give him the 30-yard line, and that is where TJ will have it uh, first down and 10, 10, 17. Left in this uh, first half of play. Tigers have had the ball three times here. Had a 23-yard field goal on their first possession, and they went three plays and out their next possession, then four plays and out, actually five plays and out on their possession after that. TJ so far tonight has had the ball uh, three times. This is going to be their third possession. The first one was four plays and out. The second one was eight plays and a missed field goal. 10-17 left here in the first half. TJ again going to split out to Cameron Adams out here to the right. They've got trips to the right. Single receiver in at Kaus out to the left. Shotgun formation now for Schubert. Turns, hands it off. Nope, fakes it, pulls it out of Bovey's belly. And he'll dive forward out near the 31-yard line. A pickup of one on the play. Five that carries 24 yards tonight unofficially for Schubert. It'll bring up second down. Let's call it nine yards to go. Yeah, Schubert didn't really have much to go with there. Kind of, blockers kind of just left their assignment and let, allowed the Carroll defensive lineman to come crash the middle where Schubert was and uh, just get him at get him with a one-yard gain. Coon Rapids, Baird, Booyer Valley tied 14-14, end of the first quarter over in at Dunlap tonight. With the Western Iowa Network, you get more and more reliability when getting that last minute to homework done, more meaningful moments with video chatting with the loved ones, and more savings as well. Lock in your price for two years. We'll tell you how here in a moment. They're going to refake the jet sweep. Schubert up the middle. Going to get out past the 35. Nope, they're going to give him right at the 35. Now they're moving out towards the 36-yard line, a pickup of about five on the play. It'll bring up third down and around four, maybe three, four yards. Let's say four yards to go. Now, again, with Western Iowa Network, you can call or text 712-775-2946 or go to westianet.com for details. Big third down, I think, right now, Kate, because TJ had some success moving the football last time. Carroll really wants to get him, I think, a three and out get their offense back out on the field yes they do uh looking for tj to most likely run it have a little fake handoff read play like they have been doing and have schubert keep it, it looks like a false now start we've got a false start let's go ahead and get the call from the official here let's start number 51 of the offense it'll be a five-yard penalty replay third down so five-yard penalty again against uh, the TJ, that is their third on the night. Three penalties now for 15 yards. So instead of third and four, they're facing a third and nine. Yeah, a little change of game plan here now, but uh, looks like they got two receivers stacked up and split out to the other side. Now we've got a flag coming from behind the play. Are they just picking one up? Looks like they're going to reset things here. And we are ready to go here. 8.29 left here in the first half. Schubert out of the shotgun. Twins to the left and to the right. Third and nine. Pressure comes up the middle. They chase him out of the pocket. He scrambles looking downfield. Now he's going to tuck, and he is going to duck out of bounds, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds out past the 45, out to the 47. I thought he was just going to step out after getting the first down at the 42, but he kind of lowered the shoulder, got himself out to the 48-yard line, a pickup of 17 on the play, and that is going to be enough to move the chains. And He picks up those yards quick once he gets out of the pocket. Yes, he does. Carroll flushed the pocket pocket right away and Schubert just kind of rolled out to his right and then saw an open field with no receivers open and just took off and then got a really big gain out of it. Schubert again will come out shotgun formation 
He has got one wide receiver, and that is at Lane Toman out here to the right. Now joining him here to the right is Bino. Two in receivers as well to the left. Tigers again with four down linemen. Wants to throw quick and threw it in behind at Toman, his intended receiver. A little miscommunication, I think, on the distance that they wanted to run on that pass pattern. It'll bring up second down and ten. Yeah, I haven't seen much mistakes from Schubert so far, so it must have been a little miscommunication on that play. He threw it just a little low, and the receiver kind of overran his route. OABCIG leading ESAC 13-0, end of the first quarter. Audubon now at 14-0, early second quarter here tonight on Fremont Mills. Arweva trailing Glenn Ralston. Wildcats leading that one 13-7, end of the first quarter. That game over on KKRL tonight. Schubert again out of the shotgun. Clock is stopped with that incomplete pass. Cotero coming with a blitz. They hand it off. And May finding some running room up the middle that time was Schofield, who is back on the field. He'll get into Carroll territory down to the 43-yard line. So going to be near the first down, but a yard short. That'll be about a nine-yard gain. It'll bring up third down now and one to go. You wanted third and long. Now you got him in third and short. Yeah, third and short. Uh, looking for them to just run the ball again like they have been doing. It's, it's given Carroll fits so far, so... Looking for them to run it up the middle and see what Carroll can respond with. Schubert again out of the shotgun. Toman, or excuse me, Schofield lines up to his left, trips to the left. They'll fake the handoff. Pressure comes, gets away from it. Now he's going to tuck. He's got Pontau chasing him, but he'll pick up the first down and again gets inside the 35 down near the 33-yard line. A pickup of 10 on the play, and that is going to be enough for another at TJ at first down. So... We go back to that third here a little bit ago. They had him third and nine, gave that one up, and now all of a sudden TJ's found a rhythm offensively. Yes, they have. They're kind of working around Schubert as a quarterback. He's just finding ways to make mm -hmm. plays early on. What adjustments does Carroll need to do here defensively? To, he's, they're, I think they're trying to contain him, but he's finding a way to get outside of the pocket. Uh, yeah, they're, they're really flushing the pocket when he wants to throw, and he's just rolling out to the roll now to either side wherever he wants to so the defensive ends need to not over pursue up the backfield more and just try to keep the edge and keep him from running out Toman and Johan split out here to the right. Schubert out of the shotgun, looks that way. He's looking across the middle, now tucks it back in, tries the left side, that's taken away. Gets around another guy and now tucks it up. Finally going to be knocked out of bounds by Nolan Moore, but not before he gets down near the 29-yard line. A play that didn't look like it was going anywhere. Picks up four. It'll bring up second down and six. You just see the defensive ends again. They're over-pursuing him, and Schubert is just being the athlete that he is. He's just kind of making plays when he has to. Do they need to come in wider or tighter or just come in a little bit slower on that rush? Uh, a little more tighter. They're kind of rolling up too far to where, where he is basically when he snaps the ball. So they just need to come up a little little shorter and then just kind of hook the edge and then set, the, set their feet when they're trying to make a tackle. Toman, Joe Hans, and also Bovey split out here to the right. Schofield in the backfield with it. Schubert, one wide receiver as well to the left. They'll hand it off to Schofield, and that time he is stuffed in the middle of the line. He's going to gain a yard maybe down to the 28-yard line. Going to bring up third down. We'll call it about five yards to go again here for TJ. So another a big third down right now for the Carroll defense. Three to nothing. Carroll with the lead late here in the first half. Roselle Mutual halftime report coming up. 5.35 left here in this first half of play. Nolan Moore will come out for the Tigers defensively. Joe Hands again going to split out here to the right along with Bovey. They've got Kaus split out to the left. Schofield going to line up on the right side of it. Schubert. One wide receiver as well in the slot on that right side. That's the wide side of the field. They fake it to Schofield. Nope, they give it to him, and he's going to lean the ball forward. He's going to be short of the first down, but he gets down around the 25-yard line. And they wanted the first down, you could tell, but I think they'll take that. Sets so up a fourth down and two. Yes, it yes, I would take it, too. Um, with this short of yardage, uh, I would, if I was Thomas Jefferson, I'd keep running it to the outside because Carroll has the middle pretty well protected, and they're having fits with Schubert on the edge. So I would run it to the outside. Tied in on the right side this time. We've got some movement. Everybody, though, back and set for Carroll. Schubert going to look over to the sidelines. Play clock is at down to 12. Game clock at 438. He'll change the play. They'll stay out of the shotgun. They're going to move Schofield from the left side of him to the right side of him. They're going to roll out. Schubert pressure comes. Tigers have him, and they wrap him up, and they get him for the sack and the tackle for the loss. Three different Carroll Tigers back there, and a great job that time by the defensive ends as the tackle made all the way back at the 33-yard line, a loss of eight. Yeah, it was a great job by the Tiger defense. Super wanted to go to his right, but uh, 
the defensive end on the far side to his back was uncovered, so when he wanted to switch directions, he was already there and had nowhere to go. Thanks to Travis Brinks out there running our camera here tonight. He's enjoying the ball game. And again, our video broadcast available. Go to YouTube and search 1380kcim.com. And our video being powered by New Way Ford in Coon Rapids. Ethan Lingling under center. He'll send a man in motion. That is going to be Dirks. They're trying to get him on the jet sweep. Starts wide, now tries to cut it back inside. They had that defended pretty well. He'll gain a yard out to the 34-yard line. It'll bring up second down now and about nine yards to go. You could tell that Dirks really wanted to get to the outside that time, Cade, but defensively they stretched that play out. Yes, they did. He wanted to go to the outside, then they saw he saw that the defeat defense kind of flowed with him to the outside, so went to cut back up the middle and just had a defender right at his back, so nowhere to go with that one. Nick Mackey will split out to the right. Dirk splits to the left. Hammer the tight end here on the left side. Two tight ends at Lingling under center. Turns, fakes the handoff that time to Ludwig. Rolls out to the right, looking to throw downfield. Pressure now comes. He lofts one up, and it is knocked out of bounds. Good defensive play that time by B now. Could have went over and tried to intercept it, but probably was going to be out of bounds instead. Just knocked it out of bounds. And it'll bring up third down now and nine. Tigers need to find something in the pass game. I say that because right now 0 for 5 in the pass game tonight. Yes, they do. Kind of kind of having fits with the pass game. Thomas Jefferson's doing a really good job of defending their receivers. Um, Carroll's has, really lo has a lot of speed on the receiving end of things, so... If you go with the shorter pass would be my thing and just try to outrun them when they catch the edge. You can check out our new Brinks Exterior Sports Report coming up every night. Tyler Bruner and I sit down and type up game recaps from all of the local sporting events. Football games are usually posted on Sunday, but you can find that at 1380kcim.com. Quick pass out to Dirks, and he didn't hold it. I think he looked. He saw the defender slip, which meant he probably would have had enough for the first down if he squeezed that one in. But just out of the peripheral vision, he saw the defender fall down, took his eye off the ball. Yes, he did. He didn't look it all the way in like he should have, but... Uh, yeah, I just kind of bobbled it and then let it hit the ground. So tough loss for the Tigers, but uh, hopefully defense can back them up and get another stop. Carroll going to have to punt the football away. Nolan Moore has done a nice job punting so far here tonight. He will be on. 3.32 left here in the first half. Roselle Mutual halftime report coming up. Moore bobbles to snap. Really no pressure. A low line drive. Toman will let it bound. It's going to take a great Tiger roll down inside the 15. And it is going to be downed it, down it around the 12 yard line. So that is where TJ will have it. 322 left here in this first half. Carroll right now with a three to nothing lead. And I think we do have a flag down the field here. And this one might be coming back. Looks like we may have a flag against the uh, Carroll Tigers. Going to wait for the official here. They're still discussing things, and we'll see what that official call is. So if I'm TJ and this is on Carroll, I certainly make him punt it again. Yes, I would make him punt it again. Hopefully with him being backed up, we'll get him maybe a shorter punt and then maybe get a chance to return and get better field position than rather at their own 12-yard line. Well, the official's now coming over to talk with the uh, Carroll sideline. That is where the flag is laying, is over here on the sideline by the Carroll Tigers near the 35-yard line. Now the white hat has got all of the Tigers kind of circled around him, and he is talking to them as well. A legal substitution on the receiving team that penalty is declined first and 10 Carroll. First and 10, Thomas Jefferson. He pointed for Thomas Jefferson and everybody heading down that way. So it will be um, TJ football. They'll have the ball again down and around their own 12 or 13 yard line. I think it should be at about the 13 is where they were going to spot it. I think they're going to put it down though. Is it at the 12? And waiting for everybody to clear. Looks like they're going to put it at the 12. So that is where TJ will have it at their own 12-yard line. 322 left here in this first half of play. New A Ford scoreboard show coming up here on KCIM tonight and on Kick 106.7. That'll follow both of our football games here tonight from 10 to midnight. Tom Hawkapp and Jim Molitor now on the show here tonight. Again, we'll get interviews with all of our area coaches. And now we've got a timeout on the field. We're going to step away with them. We'll be back with more Carol Tanker football coming up for you here on the KCIM. We'll be back in 30 seconds. From
Kevin K. Chable with you tonight. We're coming to you live from the Gatorade Broadcast Booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. And, Cade, you've played you've played in some really hot games early in the season, but when you've went from kind of some cooler 70s and stuff like that to all of a sudden one up around the 90s again, how tough is it to get yourself readjusted? Uh, it's very tough. You're going to deal with cramps a lot, and then um, you just got to hydrate yourself all week because if you do it the day before you're going to struggle with cramps and then dehydration schubert out of the shotgun ball at the 12 yard line over on the left hash mark he's got Schofield lined up to his left they'll turn hand it off to Schofield. he's got some running room picks up a block out on the left side going to be wrapped up brought down by remy richardson but not before he gets out near the 27 yard line a pickup of 15 on the play and it'll be enough to move the chains for Thomas Jefferson now you got to wonder with this limited time left are, are they going to eventually now think now okay now we're out of our own end zone are they going to go to more of a hurry up here and trying to get a few more plays in yeah I would think they were going to go with a hurry up um, they've been going no huddle all game so I think a hurry up would be smart for them to do to get more plays in two wide receivers to the left one to the right they fake the handoff Schubert wants to throw crossing pattern tipped away nicely that time I think it was Gus Collison that came in and just got a fingertip on that one Schubert unofficially tonight five of eight for 46 yards and that'll bring up second down in 10 stops the clock with 250 now if you're Carroll you think you get a stop here, you force them third and long. Do you start maybe taking a timeout here to save yourself a little clock if this is not an incomplete pass to try and give yourself a chance to score here before the end of the first half? Yes, I would definitely do that. Get a stop and then get a timeout and get yourself set up for to score right before half, get the momentum on your side. Two wide receivers out to the left and one to the right for Schubert. Drops back, wants to throw left. The pass is complete to Kaus. Kaus got some running room, slips a tackle, gets across midfield, or actually out to midfield. Going to mark him down right, it uh, looks like at the 49, so just a yard short. It's going to be a pickup of a 21 on the play. And their wide receivers are showing some ability to slip some tackles on the outside. Yes, they are. Once they catch the edge, uh, it's hard for Carroll to even get a hand on them because they're, they're fast and they are very shifty. But uh, they're also getting good blocks by their corners out there, holding the Carroll defense, defenders, get, keeping them away from tackling the guy with the ball. Johan splits out to the right, twin receivers to the left. Schubert out of the shotgun, 220 left first half. First down and 10 from the 49. They hand it off again to Schofield, and Schofield spinning his way and then diving forward into Carroll territory down around the 42-yard line. A pickup of eight on the play, his seventh carry of the night. He's got 41 yards. It'll bring up second down and two. And as we kind of expected, they're starting to hurry up a little bit. I.K. Manning leading Woodbury Central now, 14-13 late in the first half. Audubon. Picks up an interception against Fremont Mills. They're leading that one 14 to six, that one in the second quarter. Schubert out of the shotgun here. Carroll leading this one three to nothing over at Thomas Jefferson. Schubert dropping back, wants to go deep downfield. And that time he pump fakes, pulls it back down and he is gonna be sacked and tackled back at around the 46 yard line. Great defense coverage sack that time for Carroll. He wanted to get that one out quick, uh, Cade, but was unable to. Yeah, he was not able, had all of his receivers were covered up, and then I tried to scramble with it, but uh, had the pocket basically surrounded, so he had nowhere to go, and good, good stop by the Tigers. Ponto and Sims in on that sack. Clock continues to roll. A minute 14 left here. Third down and 14 now for TJ. Ball at their own 46-yard line over on the left hash mark. Schubert again out of the shotgun formation. Twin receivers to the left, and at one, Johan split out here to the right. He'll drop back again once the throw pressure comes again from Carroll, and again they get to him and they get the sack. All the way back, they're going to give him forward progress to the 36, so a 10-yard loss on that sack, and that is going to be a big stop for the Carroll defense. Yeah, the Tiger defensive linemen are doing a great job getting through the line and rushing the quarterback when they have to and giving him not giving him a chance to be dangerous with his feet, so nice job by the defensive lineman on that play. And Carroll now takes a timeout. 40 seconds left here in the first half. We'll be back with more Tiger football coming up. Carroll leading. Thomas Jefferson, three to nothing. Back in 30 seconds here on KCIM. At Roselle Mutual Insurance, a partner of Grinnell Mutual, we understand teamwork. We believe that hard work pays off and we know it takes coming together to win. Our team values community and supporting each other. Now's the time to get back at it and return to the field to support our local athletes. To help promote that culture, we are working with Jeff Storyhand to capture our youth and photos from local events and they will be shared with you on our Facebook page. 
Experience working together as a winning team. Call Roselle Mutual today at 792-4525 for all your insurance needs. Late first half, Audubon has extended their lead to 28-6 to over Fremont Mills. And, uh, Cade, do you go after this? Do you go for a punt, a punt block here uh, with it fourth and 24 and TJ at their own 36-yard line? Or do you set up? You've got a return guy in Zach Dirks who has taken a kickoff back for a touchdown already this year. So he's got that ability to, to, to make a big play in special teams. Yeah, with them being pinned down this far back, I would definitely think that Coach Rowe has pump block in his arsenal right here, right now. And uh, maybe they'll do it and set up a good chance for the offense to score right before half. Bovey is back in the punt formation right now. Dirk setting up at about his own 42-yard line. Low snap. Tigers did come with some pressure. It is going to be a very high punt and it is going to land over near the TJ sideline. It's going to bound out of bounds. Dirks acted like he was going to pick it up. There's no whistle. And now I think we do hear a whistle. Did Dirks touch that over on the sidelines? Because if he did and it stayed in bounds, TJ may have the football. And I think the officials right now are going to have a discussion. He certainly ran over and looked like he bent down to touch it, but then didn't go back after it. So it is going to be Carroll football. And it's going to be down at the Tiger 49-yard line. So in a way, a lucky break for Carroll because if Dirks would have touched that, that could have been six for TJ. Yes, it would have been very bad. He, I think he was trying to just kind of throw the Thomas Jefferson guys off guard and make them touch it early because it was kind of rolling forward back towards Thomas Jefferson side so they didn't want it to happen but I think that's what he was trying to do. Defensive battle here tonight in this first half. 29 seconds left to the Roselle Mutual halftime report. Tigers have the football at midfield. They lead it right now by a score of a three to nothing. Carroll hustles up to the line. Ling Ling is under center, but he's got nobody in the backfield with him. Now he'll send a man in motion. They'll fake the play to Dirks, looking for him, and he catches it out here. It's at the 42, cuts back inside, now cuts back across field, picks up a block, and he's going to be tripped up at around the 37-yard line, so a pickup of about 13 on the play, and that's going to be enough for a first down. It'll stop the clock momentarily. I tell you what, he was going all the way back across the field that time, and if he makes that, he, he's he got a chance to take that to the house. Yeah, he just needed one more block to catch the edge, and then he would have been gone and scored six for the Tigers, but uh, didn't get that block and just kind of got an 11-yard pickup. Mackey Motors, again, post-game show coming up following the ball game tonight. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Jeff Blankman, Kate Shabo with you. Thanks to uh, Nathan Cones monitoring things back in the uh, studios tonight. Thanks also to Tom Hawkep and Jim Mil Molitor, those two kind of filling in for some other guys tonight on the scoreboard show. So uh, thanks for them for being able to uh, fill in and help us out tonight. And again, the new way Ford scoreboard show coming up from at 10 to midnight tonight here on KCIM and on at kick 106. Point seven. That'll follow our football games. Have not seen an update on that uh, Green County and uh, Kemper game. That one uh, tonight going on over on uh, 93.7 at KKRL. So not for sure exactly what uh, what is going on. Actually, that one's on kick, excuse me, tonight. Other scores, uh, IKEA Manning trailing now Woodbury Central 20-14 to 14 at the halftime. That's a huge one in that district in Class A. So the Tigers now in, in striking distance, I would think. Got a couple of plays left. Left one more timeout. Ball in the middle of the field near the 38-yard line. First down and 10. Dirks with the only catch so far. Lingling out of the shotgun. Going to drop once to look downfield. Now goes across the middle. He's got Nick Mackey inside the 20, 15, 10, 5, and in for the touchdown. A 38-yard touchdown to Nick Mackey, and Mackey that time showed that explosiveness once he caught the football. Yeah, Ling Ling was just kind of being patient with the routes, letting the receivers do their thing to get open, and uh, Mackey cut across the middle and just used his speed and uh, used his shiftiness to get away from some tacklers and took it all the way to the end zone. Yeah, I tell you what, once he found that seam, there was no stopping him. He had a guy that had an angle at about the five-yard line, but his speed got him beyond that angle. As Elijah Lee comes on to attempt the extra point, he is at four for four on the season. And now the attempt is up. It is good, and the Carroll Tigers have extended the lead here, and a big one. They extend it now to 10 to nothing with eight seconds left in the first half of play. We'll step away. We're back in one minute right here on KCIM. The road to fitness is a personal journey, and that journey needs to be... From Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs, 
with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you, from our Oil Changes for Life program to our exclusive warranty forever. We work to keep your new way vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. At Roswell Mutual Insurance, a partner of Grinnell Mutual, we understand teamwork. We believe that hard work pays off and we know it takes coming together to win. Our team values community and supporting each other. Now's the time to get back at it and return to the field to support our local athletes. To help promote that culture, we are working with Jeff Storyhand to capture our youth in photos from local events and they will be shared with you on our Facebook page. Experience working together as a winning team. Call Roselle Mutual today at 792-4525 for all your insurance needs. Elijah Lee has kicked it off eight times this year. Uh, he has two of them touchbacks, would like one here, but this time he's going to squib it, and it's going to continue to bounce. Bovey left it go. He'll pick it up at around the 11-yard line, return off to the left side, and he is going to be tackled with a one second left here in the first half back at the 11-yard line, so that is where TJ will have it first down and 10, and my guess is they'll come out and probably kneel on the football down right now by 10. Don't want to take a chance at one and think, Kate, of maybe turning the ball over here and, and Carroll somehow scoring on the final play of the half? No, I don't think so. I think they're just going to come out and just take a knee and get things straightened out for the half. So not a great first half offensively for Carroll, Cade, but a great way to close out that first half with that two-play 50-yard drive for the yeah, touchdown. Yeah, it's a really great way to do that. Uh, it gives the Tigers momentum going into the second half, and uh, it's a good confidence booster for them, knowing that if they can do that, they can do more and more in the second half. Schubert will come out of the shotgun. Roselle Mutual halftime report coming up. He's got Schofield lined up to his left. Takes the snap, and he will take the knee, and we will head to the halftime with the Carroll Tigers leading Thomas Jefferson by a score of 10 to nothing. We'll step away. We'll take a break. We will come back in two and a half minutes with the Roselle Mutual halftime report. That's coming up next right here on KCIM. Thompson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, &H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x -Bart, Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. Midwest Wholesale is your local building products headquarters. We have everything you need for your smaller home improvements to the building of your home or commercial building. We pride ourselves on giving you top-notch service, quality products with competitive prices. So whether you're a do-it-yourselfer, a contractor, or you just need a little help on a project, Midwest Wholesale is a one-stop resource for all your building needs. Midwest Wholesale, how you want it, when you want it, where you want it, we deliver. Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. This is Iowa, and Avela Bank has called Iowa home since 1870. With 17 locations across the state, we're proud to be part of your community. Right now, you can open an Avela Bank Simply Free checking account for you or your business and get a new debit card immediately. We'll even buy your old bank's unused checks. Stop by or visit us online to see how we're making better banking available for you. Avela Bank, member FDIC. Can your roof handle extreme hail conditions? Ours can. Check it out. As you can see, our Brinks roof has stood up to the test with zero damage. As for our competitors, well, theirs did not. Is your roof worn out or needs repair? Know that not all roofers and shingles are created equal. If you need honest feedback whether your roof needs to be repaired or replaced, get a second opinion. And call the Roof Pros at Brinks Exteriors, 920 Roof Pro. Oh, 
Roselle Mutual Insurance is a proud sponsor of tonight's halftime show. Roselle Mutual believes in the value of youth activities to help develop adults that will be our future community leaders. They are our hometown teammates for commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance. Give them a call at 712-792-4525. We're coming to you live from the Gatorade broadcast booth distributed by Pepsi Beverages here in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. Jeff Blankman, Kate Chabo with you here in the Carroll Tigers leading Thomas Jefferson 10 to nothing as we're here at the halftime. And uh, Cade, we mentioned it here, uh, kind of a defensive paddle really uh, through most of that first half. But Carroll maybe finding something in the passing game right there before the end of the half. Yes, they have. Uh, it's been very... Very defensive-minded this first half. Thomas Jefferson has been doing a really good job of keeping Carroll contained and just on that opening drive with the kickoff to the 10-yard line, holding them just to only a field goal. And then Carroll on the other end doing a great job of trying to trying the best they can to contain Schubert at, with his shiftiness and his speed. So good job by both teams. And then Carroll at the end of the half finding some holes in Thomas Jefferson's defense with the passing game and allowing him to score and get the momentum on Carroll's side. Kate, it's kind of funny because people will say sometimes stats don't mean much. It's always what's on the scoreboard, and that's really true here tonight. Carroll's up 10 nothing, and we'll go through the stats and break them down here a little bit. But Thomas Jefferson has almost doubled Carroll in total yardage in the first half, but yet it's the Tigers with that lead. We talked about the Carroll defense. What has stood out for you, and what areas do they maybe need to get a little better at here in the second half? Uh Something that stood out is uh, the defensive linemen and the middle linebackers doing a really good job of keeping the run game up the middle contained. And uh, towards the, in the second quarter and towards the end of the half, the defensive ends have done a good job of keeping Schubert contained in the backfield and then picking up a couple sacks and not allowing him to catch the edge and be dangerous with his legs. Um, I've seen Thomas Jefferson on defense do a really good job. Their offense is all right. They need to do a little more passing. But uh, Carroll, with their weak spots, is their defenders on the outside um getting some holes so allow thomas jefferson to get some short pass yards in and then allowing schubert to get to the outside and use his legs and get positive yards cooper ludwig had a couple of nice runs up the middle you mentioned the tigers with that inside run game how do they establish that on a consistent basis because it looked like on those two 11 yard runs that they had found something and then did tj adjust to that uh, yeah, they found something. The linemen have just been sticking with their blocks and making a huge hole for Cooper to find. And uh, Thomas Jefferson, I think, has adjusted that. But Carroll also had a little momentum swing where they fumbled the ball a little bit and then just got stuck. And then flags and penalties kind of stumbled it. But uh, if they can get that run game going again in the second half, it'll be good for the Tigers. Cade, you've caught some passes across the middle. Nick Mackey, you've got to have guts because a lot of times there's a safety lurking and they want to hit you. Um, he made that catch immediately, sidestep to Guy. Take us through how you think in his eyes that play developed for him. Uh, he kind of just ran the, we used to call it like a six route, run it up and then cut to the inside and then when you cut to the inside, it's always dangerous no matter what route you run. So kind of saw it, took his eyes off, caught it, and then there's little, after you catch it, there's a little panic attack. So you kind of catch it, turn, look, and then you have to sidestep a guy, which he did. And then he cut across the field even more and got to the outside edge and then just used his speed to get into the end zone. I want to give a quick shout out to New Way Ford, sponsoring sports on the go with me and giving me a vehicle to drive to all the different sporting events that I've been uh, covering over the last year. The New Way Ford feature vehicle of the game is a 2018 Ford Escape. It's had one owner with a four-wheel drive under 47,000 miles. If you would like more details, call New Way Ford down in Coon Rapids at 800-861-7268 or check out the Carroll Broadcasting website at 1380kcim.com. Sports on the go with me, Jeff Blankman, powered by New Way Ford in Coon Rapids, home of warranty forever. Now you're home for free oil changes for life and also want to give new way forward a shout out as well as of course they sponsor our video broadcast now as well as they are the name sponsor on that and again you if you want to watch and listen to the ball game here tonight and hear all of the things that Cade's telling you can see them how they're happening as as he's explaining it to you you can uh, go to youtube and just search 1380 kcim and you'll be able to pull that up thanks to travis brinks out there for running our video and our video coverage is powered by new way forward in coon rapids we're going to be back with more of our roselle mutual halftime report carol tanger is leading right now 10 to nothing over thomas jeff Jefferson. We're back in another two and a half minutes right here on KCIM. Roselle Mutual is a proud sponsor of tonight's halftime show. The dedication and teamwork. 
We believe that hard work pays off and we know it takes coming together to win. Our team values community and supporting each other. Now's the time to get back at it and return to the field to support our local athletes. To help promote that culture, we are working with Jeff Storyhand to capture our youth in photos from local events and they will be shared with you on our Facebook page. Experience working together as a winning team. Call Roselle Mutual today at 792-4525 for all your insurance needs. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team. Because together, everyone achieves more. Family owned and operated since 1948. Quant Auto Salvage is the area's best full-service scrap facility. Whether you are looking to sell scrap iron, vehicles, or batteries, or you need to locate that difficult-to-find part for your vehicle, they have what you need. And if it isn't in stock, they can locate it with their nationwide parts database, or you can pull it yourself at their You Pull It. Quant Auto Salvage. They sell the best and recycle the rest on Kitty Hawk Avenue in Carroll. with a low of 61. South winds around 5 miles per hour. Partly cloudy tomorrow. Highs around 92. Cloudy tomorrow night. Lows around 64. Upper 70s Sunday. Low 80s Monday with a chance for scattered storms. From the Weatherology Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paul Frombley. See the full forecast and the Brinks Exteriors radar at 1380kcim.com. Right now, 72. Roseau Mutual Insurance, a proud sponsor of tonight's halftime show. Roseau Mutual believes in the value of youth activities to help develop adults that will be our future community leaders. They are your hometown teammates for commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Give them a call today at 712-792-4525. If you call down there, you get a chance to call to talk to either Kelly Danner or Jeff Honold or maybe Jeff Weber, and they certainly will help you out. Carol Tigers leading Thomas Jefferson 10 to nothing here at the halftime. Let's take a look at our unofficial number numbers here in the first half for TJ tonight. Uh, Schubert, uh, 12 carries for 34 yards. Bovey, one carry for a negative one yards. Schofield with seven carries for 41 yards. So they've got 67 yards, excuse me, 74 yards on the ground. Passing wise, um, Schubert right now six of nine for 67 yards. Bovey has got uh, one catch for 31 yards. Joe Hands, one catch for a negative two yards. Kaus has been their big guy so far. Four catches for 38 yards. So they've got 67 yards passing, 74 yards rushing for a total offense of 141 for the Carroll Tigers. Cooper Ludwig, six carries, 34 yards. It is Zach Dirks with two carries for a negative one yard. Uh, the Tigers right now with 33 yards rushing here in the first half. Passing-wise, Ethan Lingling, two of eight for 50 yards and a touchdown. Nick Mackey, one catch for 38 yards with a touchdown. And it is a Dirks with a one catch for 12 yards. So the Tigers, 50 yards passing, 33 yards rushing now here in the first half. So Carroll with 83 yards of offense. Let's take a quick look at our drive summary here. Carroll uh, took the opening kickoff as uh, Remy Richardson ran it all the way down to the TJ 10-yard line. Carroll, though, was uh, forced to kick a few goal, and Elijah Lee booted it good from three yards out. And Carroll, with 9.51 left in the first quarter, led 3 to nothing. Defenses then really kind of took over. TJ started their first drive at their own 20-yard line. Four plays later, they punted it away. Carroll would get the ball back at their own 25-yard line and would go three plays and out. TJ took over at their own 32-yard line with 6.04 left in the first quarter at a 9 
nice drive. It was an eight play drive. Had a 31 yard pass completion down to the Carroll 12 yard line, but they had to attempt a 24 yard field goal. It was no good. Carroll then started at their own 20 yard line with two seconds left in the first quarter. And five plays later, they would punt the football away. Thomas Jefferson started at their own 30 yard line with 10 17 left in the half. Had another nice drive, a nine play drive that ended on back to back sacks on third down and fourth down, and they turned it over on downs. Carroll would then start at their own 33 yard line and would go three plays and out 425 left in the first half and the Tigers punted the football away up three to nothing. TJ pinned all the way back at their own 12 yard line again got a drive established but on the sixth play of that drive they would punt the football away. Carroll would get the ball at midfield with 29 seconds left and it took uh, Carroll two plays to get it into the end zone. Um, they would complete a pass to Dirks for 12 yards down to the 38 and then a 38 yard touchdown to Nick Mackey with eight seconds left Carroll led it at 10 to nothing that is how the Tigers have that lead here at 10 nothing Cade adjustments for Carroll heading into the second half you've been in that locker room really with all of these coaches what are they saying to the guys right now uh defensive adjustments uh defensive ends are over over pursuing going upfield too much they need to tone it down a little bit and stay tighter so that allows Schubert to not be able to do as much with his feet in the running game. Um, offensively, um, they're starting to get their running game and passing game figured out. So whatever they got told at the end of the second half, they probably got told again. So look for them to run the ball more effectively tonight and also pack the ball this second half. Um, Thomas Jefferson um, running the ball. Uh, they're running the ball really well. Um, Schubert's been a lot of that, just kind of get the running back involved a little bit. Passing-wise, Carroll's doing a really good job of defending it. Um, short passes have been working for them, so try to mix those in every now and then. But uh, defensively, um, Thomas Jefferson has been pretty solid, in my opinion, uh, stopping the run game, not allowing huge plays, and uh, taking away the long passes. Our score here, 10 to nothing at the halftime. Let's take a look at some other scores locally in the area. Kemper and Greene County scoreless at halftime. Greene County had two scoring chances. Kemper came up with interceptions on both of those. East Sac trailing OABCIG at the halftime, 34 to nothing. South Central Calhoun leading Emmitsburg at the half, 27 to three. It is ICAM Manning trailing Woodbury Central now, 20 to 14 at the halftime. Arweva has built a 27-19 lead at Glidden Ralston at the halftime. That game over on KKRL. Autumn and up now 28-12 at the halftime on Fremont Mills at Tabor and Booyer Valley is uh, on top of uh, Coon Rabbit's Beard right now at the halftime as well 28-20 to and I do want to give a quick shout out again. I've got uh, kids a lot of times, maybe some adults and some parents that go to these games and then they tag me and tweet so I know what's going on with all nine of our area schools every week. So um, for the uh, it means we're always covering the Carol and Kemper game. I always have an announcer there for our Weva. It's Cora Obrek for Autumn and it's Lynn Speech for Coon Rapids Barrett. It's Bryn Bass. For East Sac County, it's Angie McCullough. For Glidden Ralston, it's Macy Snyder. For ICAM Manning, it's Dan Spooner. And from South Central Calhoun, it's Addison Koraleski. So thanks to all of those kids and those adults uh, for tagging me in tweets to let me know what's going on with all of the area schools. Cade adjustments here in the second half. Tigers get the ball. Actually, TJ gets the ball here, to, excuse me, to start the second half. What do you think they're going to try to do? They've had some success in the run game up the middle. They've had some success running the football with Schubert on the outside. Do they just try to get Schubert the ball in his hands a little bit more? I think they do try to do that. Uh, he's really dangerous with his arm and his leg, so look for him to have the ball a little more in the second half. But uh, Carroll's probably preparing for that, so Thomas Jefferson is going to have to get their running back involved a little bit and also go back to their... Um, quick little short pass plays that they've been doing. We're coming to you live here from the Gatorade Broadcast Booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages and Carol Gatorade, helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. And don't forget, our halftime has been brought to you by Roselle Mutual Insurance. They're a proud sponsor of tonight's halftime show. Roselle Mutual believes in the value of youth activities to help develop a future adults uh, that will be our future community leaders. They're your hometown teammates for commercial, farm, home, or auto insurance needs. Give them a call at 712-792-4525. And speaking of Roselle Mutual, we have the legendary 
Gary Jeff Story on in the press box right now as he has taken photos of Kate and I working and uh, he has uh, done a great job as always and of course you can find all of Jeff's photos available on the Roselle Mutual uh, Facebook page coming up he'll get those posted later on tonight and then uh, we'll get them at, over to our Carol Broadcasting Facebook pages coming up at later on at this evening as well so thanks to Jeff for all of the hard work he does and I know I think I just broke his camera um, he kind of walked out here a little frustrated it was shaking it it must not work anymore yeah it must not I don't know what's <laughs> going on <laughs> appreciate everybody tuning in here tonight with Western Iowa Networks you get more more speed when working from home more movie time with family with no buffering and more saving with locking in your internet price for two years call or text them at 712-775-2946 or go to westianet.com for details, Elijah Lee going to kick it off here for the Carroll Tengers as we get sent for our second half here tonight. Uh, of course, we've got our motor in player of the game coming up following the ball game. Motor in of Carroll, your premier Toyota Chevy and Buick dealership for everything from sales to service to parts and collision. Tigers will go left to right across your radio dial here in this second half. That kickoff looks like it's going to float out of bounds. It will. So TJ will have that opportunity to start the ball at their own 35-yard line, and more than likely they'll try to do that. That is no time clicks off. And I, I was just going to bring up Elijah. He has done a terrific job uh, since coming in as the kicker here a couple of years ago for Carroll. You got a chance to play with him. This is a young guy that puts a lot of work into this. Yes, he does. He At practices, He all he does is his kick he really he really treats kicking like a job and wants to be really good at it uh and he's done that he's gotten really good at his fuel goals and he's perfect with pats right now so good job out of that kid i know frustrated with himself and stuff for kicking that one out of bounds and they are going to have him kick it again Back deep will be Johans uh, for a TJ. Surprised they could have had it at the 35. Must feel like they can get uh, a little bit of a better return. So there's no real wind tonight. So the flag laying down there by the rec center completely flat. So it's not like he's kicking against the wind. And we've seen before, um, I think I mentioned earlier, that he's had uh, two touchbacks already this year. So he's got the leg to boot this one deep even after that penalty. He'll reset it. Ball spotted now at the Carroll 35-yard line. Johans back deep for TJ. Kick is up in the air. It is going to be taken up by Johans right at around the 10-yard line. Return up the middle. Now pops it out to the right side, and that's why they took the penalty. He is going to get a good return. He's going to get out past the 35-yard line, out near the 40-yard line, and that is where TJ will have it. They're on at 40-yard line, 11.52. It's the reason why I'm in the boot, Keith, and not down there by your dad trying to coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tigers defensively need to come out probably right away as we've got an injured player um, from TJ on the field, but probably need to come out and get a stop here right away. It looks like just to cramp out on the field. And you talked about that earlier with the heat that we're having and had to be prepared for it here tonight. Yes, had to be prepared. It's been 70s all week and last week, and then it bumped up to about 85, 90 degrees today. So big temperature change, and it's going to take a toll on your body. So you got to make sure you're hydrated. And uh, defensively for the Tigers, need to, with the defensive ends, just stay tighter on the edges, allow sh or not allow Schubert to catch the edge. And... Uh, just keep everything held down in the middle and then get the outside linebackers involved more with coming up to pursue uh, Schubert when he gets outside and tries to run with it. Don't forget our new way forward scoreboard show coming up following the ball game tonight. Uh, again, we'll have Tom Hawkhap and Jim Molitor. We'll have interviews with the, the football coaches from all nine of the area football teams that we cover. And uh, you'll get that uh, tonight uh, on KCIM and on Kick 106.7 from about 10 until midnight. It'll follow the games. won't start before 10 o'clock, but depending on how the two games go, it might start be a little, a little later than 10 o'clock. That's happened a couple of times when the games are run late. Schubert out of the shotgun. He's got Schofield lined up to his right in the backfield. Two wide receivers to the right and at two to the left. He is going to drop back once to throw, going a deep for Kaus. Makes a great adjustment. Might have got away with a slight push off. And he is going to be wrestled down at the uh, Carroll 32-yard line. So a pickup of a 28 on the play. And the first play of the second half here tonight uh, for the TJ Ball Club. Yeah, it looks like he did get away with a little bit of a push there. He kind of had, Richardson kind of had him shut down. And the ball was kind of behind him. So he kind of threw Richardson off of him to come back and catch the ball. 
Going to give him 27 on the play. And it'll be first down and 10 now in Tiger territory. They've been in Tiger territory four times now here tonight, early here in the second half, second play of the second half coming up. Again, Schubert out of the shotgun, hands it off to Schofield up the middle, and he is going to get down near the 30-yard line before being shoved backwards. And that is going to bring up second down now. Let's call it about 10 yards to go. Unofficially, Schofield tonight, eight carries now for 43 yards. Yeah, I tried to get the outside, but uh, Cooper Ludwig and Colton Whelan had that play blown up and just kind of met him when he hit the line of scrimmage and drove him back for a little bit of a gain, but not much. A little different sitting up here in the press box than down on the field, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a lot different. Pretty good view? Yeah, really good view. <laughs> Schubert again out of the shotgun. Twins to the left and at twin receivers as well to the right. Schubert calling out the signals, fakes the handoff. They're going to throw. It is complete to Joe Hands, and he's going to make the catch down to the 25-yard line. That'll be catch number two for Joe Hands here tonight. And that is going to bring up the third down now. Let's call it around at three yards. Ago. It'll be third and a short three. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson getting that short passing game going again, which it seems it's been working the first half, so it seems to be working again in the second half. Look for them to keep that going in the rest of this game. Tigers' defense is bent tonight, but haven't broke. Got to do that here to open up. This uh, Nick Terry Carroll had gotten that momentum right before the half. Last thing they want to see is TJ come out and score to start the second half. They've got trips out to the left this time. One wide receiver, that's Kaus, out to the right. They'll fake the handoff. They want to throw a quick one out to Joe Hands, and he bobbles it and drops it at around the 25-yard line. Would have had the first down at a couple of blockers out in front of him, but very similar to Dirks earlier in the game. I think he was looking upfield trying to figure out where he was going to run. Yeah, I'm not seeing the ball all the way in, which once you do that, you kind of get a little antsy, and then you're not really focused on catching the ball first. got to catch the ball first and then start running. Big fourth and down play coming up here. Fourth and three from the Tiger 25-yard line. Ball just inside the right hash mark. Kaus will split out here to the left. They're going to put trips out this time to the right. They've got to be now out there along with uh, Joe Hans. Schubert out of the shotgun. He's going to take, wants to go out to Kaus. He throws it. It's going to be complete to the 21-yard line, so that'll be a four-yard gain. That's going to be enough for the first down, so they'll keep the chains at moving. Schubert now over 100 yards on the night. Kaus with his sixth catch. He's got 69 yards now unofficially, and to Schubert now 9 of 13 for 103 yards. First down and 10. They're going to give him the 20-yard line. Kaus again will split out to the right. I'll put Trips again out here to the left. B now going to be in the slot. Tolman and Joe Hands are split wide. That's the short side of the field. Tigers kind of shifting another defender a little further to the outside that way on that wide side of the field. They'll turn on, they'll hand it off, and Tolman, excuse me, Schofield's got some running room up the middle. He'll get down near the 12. That's going to be a pickup of eight. It'll bring up second down and around it two yards to go. And that time, they won that battle up front. That's where they've been having their success is right up the middle. Yeah, right up the middle. And uh, Carroll kind of sent another linebacker out towards the outside, which allowed another hole to be open up the middle. And then Tom Sheffson took advantage of that and ran it up the middle. Ball now over on the left hash mark. Again, they go to Schofield. And this time, hit in the backfield. He's going to lose a yard up back to the 13-yard line. It'll bring up third down now and at three to go. And I tell you what, Tiger defense, again, bending a little bit, but seem to be coming up with plays when they need to. This is going to be another one. I still think this is two-down territory right now for TJ. Yes, it is. Uh, Tigers get hit with one play up the middle, then they come back and just stop the play that they just ran. So good job by them. They're not breaking yet. They're just bending. Woodbury Central adds a touchdown in the third. They lead Icam Manning now 27 to 14. Here it's at 10 to nothing. Carroll, 8.08 to go third quarter. Schubert out of the shotgun. Got Schofield lined up to his left. Trips to the left. One wide receiver and cows to the right. He looks left. Now the pressure comes. Tucks it up. He's going to run. And he had the first down. Now backs up. Where are they going to give him his progress to? They're actually going to give him a loss back to about the 15-yard line. He kind of gave up those yards on his own, and that's why there was no forward progress on that run. So it's going to be fourth and down now. They still need to get down at around the 10-yard line. Yeah, I tried to, tried to scramble out of the pocket to the left there and uh, just was to the short side, so all the everybody was flowing to that short side and just didn't have much going and then ended up losing a yard on that one. So fourth down and five now facing this TJ offense. The clock continues to run here. They've burned up 
about five minutes of this third quarter on this drive. Twin receivers out here to the left and at twin receivers to the right. And again, Schubert wants to throw. He is going towards the end zone and he has got Kaus down there for the touchdown. A fly pattern or just kind of a, a timing pattern down that sideline just kind of drifted back and, and threw it up there and left Kaus run underneath it. Pretty good coverage on the play, but he just had a step on the defender in the end zone and it's a touchdown for Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, Nick Mackey had really good coverage on that, but the uh, Thomas Jefferson guy just cut, got him by a step and just made an easy catch on the run in the end zone for seven. So now they'll come on and attempt the extra point here with Espinoza. That came on a fourth down play. So Schubert picks up his first touchdown here tonight, fifth on the season. Hold down, then that time the hold was a struggle. The kick is blocked. And the Carroll Tigers are going to maintain a 10-6 lead, so it's going to stay a two-possession, really, your ballgame. At least a field goal won't tie it anyway. 7.09 left here in the third quarter. Thomas Jefferson on the board. We're back in one minute right here on KCIM. When it comes to sports injuries, is your local building products headquarters. We have everything you need for your smaller home improvements to the building of your home or commercial building. We pride ourselves on giving you top-notch service, quality products with competitive prices. So whether you're a do-it-yourselfer, a contractor, or you just need a little help on a project, Midwest Wholesale is a one-stop resource for all your building needs. Midwest Wholesale, how you want it, when you want it, where you want it, we deliver. Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and healthy. Well, a nice drive for Thomas Jefferson at 60 yards, and they do it in eight plays. They get on the board for the first time here tonight, opening up the third quarter. The extra point by Espinoza was blocked, and the Tigers lead it here 10 to 6. Jeff Lightman along with, and there is an onside kick. It's still bouncing, and it's not going to go, I don't think, 10 yards. Espinoza didn't get much of that one, so um, the flag comes in a little bit late. That ball never went the 10 yards that it needed to. It only went about seven. I don't think Carroll had touched it. There was some players over there trying to get to it, but I don't think Carroll ever got to them. All the officials are discussing it. We'll see if the ref will turn on his mic and let us know what that discussion was. But I think it's got to be a penalty on Thomas Jefferson because I don't think that ball went 10 yards. There was no flag on the play. The ball was touched by the kicking team before the 10 barrier touched. First and 10, Carroll. All right, so Carroll going to have the football. So they'll wave the flag off there. No flag on the play. But Carroll going to have very good field position at the TJ 47-yard line. I get it. You've got all the momentum right now, um, and you want to get in there and, and try to get the ball back. But uh, that right now might have backfired if Carroll can answer and score on this possession. Yeah, it would have backfired too. But there's also a lot of game left, so doing it this early, it's – it might work, it might not, so you just can't, you never know. But uh, Carroll looking to capitalize on that. Pistol formation for Lingling. He's got uh, Ludwig lined up behind him. Two wide receivers out here to the right. They'll hand it off to Ludwig straight up the middle. He is upended and flips down to the 44-yard line. A pickup of three for the sophomore. Seven carries 37 yards for him tonight. And the Tigers will face now a second down. Let's call it seven yards to go. Another good job by the offensive lineman blocking, making a hole for Cooper to run run through and uh, just got upended there as he got a couple yards there. It was kind of scary, but uh, good to see him get back up. Nick Mackey will split out here to the right. Dirk's now coming out to the right as well. Two tight ends set. 
pistol formation again for Lingling. He spent most of the first half under center, comes out high snap. He goes up and gets it. We'll see if that threw off the timing, and he wisely throws that one over the head of Dirks and out of bounds because Dirks had about three defenders running towards him. So more than likely, if he makes that catch, it's probably going to be a loss. Now it brings up third down and seven. Heads up play that time for the senior, Ethan Lingling. Yeah, good job by Lingling. Good job throwing it out of bounds. If you th try to throw it to Zach, it could have been intercepted, and then Zach could have caught it, but it would have been a loss either way. So nice my, job by him. My first time seeing Carroll this year, have they gone out of the shotgun much this season? Because that first half was pretty much all under center. Uh, not really, no. The first couple weeks have been, been mostly under center. So they'll come out pistol formation again. Again, twin receivers out here to the right. Pretty good snap to Ling Ling. Pressure comes. He's got hammered down the field and the ball just over his head. Needed to hang that one up just a little bit more, and he knew it once he released it, but Johans was beating down and, and running towards him, and he just had to get rid of that one and hammer about two steps away, or that would have been a big play. Yeah, just, just kind of overthrew him a little bit. Uh, hammer ran a really good route. Ling Ling just kind of threw it off his back foot, so hung in the air a little bit, just kind of carried a little far ahead of him. Lingling not going out on the field, so more than likely Carroll going to punt it away here with Nolan Moore. 6-19 left third quarter, Carroll leading Thomas Jefferson 10-6. Moore on to kick it away, De dropping back is going to be Toman. There's the snap, pressure comes, the punt is blocked by Thomas Jefferson. Carroll will pick it up and going to be tackled at around the Carroll 43-44 yard line. So Thomas Jefferson going to uh, get a very uh, good field position. And the, 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 the onside kick ends up not backfiring. Carroll, second time tonight, big play on special plays. Cade not able to capitalize on it. Yeah, didn't have much blocking up front. Uh, just allowed Thomas Jefferson to bust through the line and it was a low snap, too, so Moore had to kind of pick it up off the ground. And then by the time he got his foot in the air ready to kick it, he already had Thomas Jefferson defenders in his face. And we must have a flag that I didn't see out on the field. The officials having a discussion. We'll see what this is. During the kick, illegal motion on the kicking. Penalty is declined. The result, first Jefferson. So... Legal motion on Carroll declined, so that will not go against him in penalty yardage, but it's going to give Thomas Jefferson the ball at the Carroll 44-yard line. 6.09 left here in the third quarter of play. Schofield a little late coming out onto the field. He is going to line up to the left of his quarterback, Schubert. Trips out to the right. That's the short side of the field. They'll send a man in motion. They fake it to Johans, who is in motion. Schubert goes across the middle, and he's behind Kaus. Richardson had pretty good coverage, but Kaus might have had that one if that ball not behind him at the 25-yard line. Credit the pressure on the quarterback for causing that incompletion. Yeah, nice job by the defensive ends. Tanner Ponto and Dominic Sims uh, cutting the edge on the pass play, beating their uh, tackles and just putting pressure on Schubert making him throw it early and throwing it behind the receiver. Motor and player of the game coming up following the game. Motor and of carrier premier Toyota Chevy and Buick dealership for everything from sales to surface to parts and collision. Schubert out of the shotgun, turns, hands it off to, to Schofield. And Schofield just kind of powering his way, kind of snuck his way down to the 41-yard line. That'll be a pickup of about three on the play. It'll bring up third down now, and let's call it seven yards to go. And I think you know a little bit about Motor in. Yeah, a little bit. A yeah. little bit out yep. there helping out. Yep. Yeah. We've got an injured player right now out on the field for this Thomas Jefferson ball club. Second time tonight that they've had a guy down. They're just going to help him up. And getting helped up that time is at Schofield, the running back who just carried the football. And again, probably just a cramp. We've got a timeout on the field. We'll step away with them. 548 left third quarter. 10-6, Carroll. Thomas Jefferson, though, has it third down and seven in Tiger territory. Back in at 30 seconds right here on KCIM. St. Anthony Regional Hospital, the regional leader in health care, dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony.
coming to you live from the Gatorade broadcast booth distributed by Pepsi Beverages in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. Third down and at seven for at Thomas Jefferson. They have got the ball at the Tiger 41-yard line. Ball in the middle of the field. Jap Blankman, Cade Shabo with you here tonight. Thank the Nathan Cones again hanging out a little bit late tonight to monitor things, make sure things go right on all three of our games that we're broadcasting. They're going to turn hand the football off and they called the timeout to get Schofield back out on the field. He's going to lose four yards, so it's going to bring up fourth down and 11. Great pressure up the middle that time for Carroll. Yeah, it was a read play design, and uh, Schubert just didn't make the right read, and uh, Carroll just kind of blew up that play right away and uh, got him for a loss, which set up set up most likely a punt with fourth and 11. Yeah, and Brian, they, let's see here. Bovey, their punter, he is out there lining up to punt, so the Tigers will put Zach Dirks back. Hasn't dripped, dropped back. And drifted back much here tonight because Bovey only averaging about 22 yards per punt this season coming into tonight. So Tigers could get pretty good field position out of this one. We'll see if they come with some pressure. Good snap. Light pressure from the outside. Again, punted that one kind of straight up in the air. It's going to come over to the Tiger sideline, but it'll take a Thomas Jefferson roll, and it's going to roll out of bounds right at about the 22-yard line, and that is where Carroll will have it, 444 left here in the third quarter of play. MC Country Cafe Coaches Show coming up for you tomorrow morning. I'll talk with Coach Rowetter from Carroll, of course. I'll also talk uh, with uh, Coach Steinkamp from the uh, Kemper Knights. Talk a little uh, Carroll volleyball as well. Michaela Klink scheduled to join us. We'll talk Kemper volleyball with Keith Stickrod. Talk uh, Carroll girls swimming with uh, Deb Danner. And we'll talk cross country as well with Mark Closure. All that 8 to 9 o'clock here tomorrow morning on 1380 AM, 95.1 FM, KCIM. If you haven't had breakfast down at MC, you got to go down there. That food is absolutely delicious. Langling back under center. Turns, gives it off now to Ludwig. Ludwig breaks a tackle. Could have been a face mask there. They got it very briefly the way it looked. He's going to get out near the 27-yard line, a pickup of five on the play. It'll bring up second down and four. And I think, Cage, you saw the same thing I did. Yeah, his head jerked back a little bit, so it looked like a face mask, but it uh, wasn't called. But uh, still a pretty good pickup for Ludwig. Ludwig picks up five. Again, it brings up second down and five. Unofficially eight carries, 42 yards for him. Kemper takes a 3 to nothing lead on a 25-yard field goal by Tommy Fitzsimmons. That against the Green County here tonight. Second down to five. Lingling again hands it off to Ludwig trying to get that outside. And that time Chauvel that wrapped him up. He'll be tackled at the 27-yard line. So maybe out at the 28, a gain of one on the play. And it'll bring up third down and about four yards to go. Yeah, Ludwig just tried to catch the edge on that one. But uh, left tackle over there just needed to stick with his block just a little more longer to allow... Ludwig to catch a corner and get get a first down. Gavin Smith scoring for Audubon. 9.02 left in the third quarter. They've got at least 34 points. There's no score to it, but they've got at least 34. They had 27 at halftime, so at least 33 anyway. They'll hand it off to Ludwig up the middle. And not a lot of running room back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up fourth down and a punting situation for Carroll. And the Tigers, again, kind of struggling here to get consistency in that running game right now and struggling offensively here tonight to find some consistency, Kate. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson at halftime must have talked because they haven't, Carroll hasn't been able to do much with the running game or passing game, just kind of been stuck with a couple three and outs his last couple drives to start the third quarter. So hopefully by the time the fourth quarter comes around, Carroll can get some momentum going and get back in positive yards. Joe hands up back deep. Actually, that's Toman number eight. Nolan Moore on to punt, low snap again, pressure comes Moore, this time tucks it, he's going to try to run for the first down, nice move, dives forward and picks up the first down, that was all Nolan Moore on that, a 10 yard gain for Nolan Moore and the Tigers pick up a first down on a low snap. Yeah, use that low snap, just to, had a lot of pressure coming at him too really quick, so just use that and just kind of had a wide open space to the right and use it to get a first down and get the offense back on the field. I tell you what, he showed off some nimble moves there uh, slipping by that guy. Yes, he did. He showed off his agility. So Nolan Moore will give the Tigers a first down out at their own 38-yard line. Ball over here on the left lash mark. Tigers leading at 10-6, late third quarter. 2.08 left in the third. Dirks will split out to the left. And Mackey will split to the right. Lingling under center with a Ludwig behind him. Turns, hands it off to Ludwig. Got running room up the left side, cuts it up the middle, and he's going to run over a guy down to the 45-yard line. 
of Thomas Jefferson, a pickup of 17 on the play for Cooper Ludwig. Ludwig had a huge hole from his offensive line, so just took it and ran it up the middle for a huge gain. And I think that first down on the fourth down was a good momentum swing for the Tigers. I tell you what, I was just thinking the same thing. Carroll goes on to win this game. If they score on this possession, Nolan Moore might be in line. One of the guys to be discussed for our motor in player of the game. Yes. That yes. might have changed the game on that low snap and him picking it up and rambling for that first down. Nick Mackey out here to the right. Dirks will split to the left. Lengeling in again under center. Turns, gives it off to Ludwig. And Ludwig just fighting his way forward. Gets down to the 41-yard line. A pickup of four on the play. And it'll bring up second down and six. Not a very big guy. But this young guy is about as competitive and hardworking as you're going to get. Yes, he is. He's always fighting for extra yards any chance he can. He gets hit, and he's still driving his feet to get those few extra yards to keep the offense on the field. Tough kid. And, and he's... It, I don't want to say this where people take it the wrong way. He's not a real tall guy, so he's a hard guy to see behind those offensive linemen. Yes. So with that quickness he's got and then with his toughness, I think he's got a pretty good career coming up for him. At oh, Carroll. yeah, yes, he does, especially with him just being a sophomore, too. Two wide receivers out to the left. Lang Lang going to keep it after he faked the handoff. I think he wanted to give it to Ludwig that time. He'll get down to the 40, a pickup of one on the play. And it's going to bring up third down now. Let's call it around five yards to go. Seventh play of the drive coming up here for the Tigers. And the Tigers don't have to snap one. My guess is they may. The play clock at 26. The game clock right now at 19. And they may not take another snap here, folks. They might take that 10-6 lead into the fourth quarter as Lang Lang still over here talking to Coach Rowe. And the... Uh, Game clock down to six seconds. We are through three quarters of play. Carroll Tigers leading right now over Thomas Jefferson, 10-6. Tigers will have it third down and five from the TJ40 when we come back with the fourth quarter in one minute right here on KCIM. At Farm Bureau Financial Service. People want and deserve more comfort, efficiency, and reliability, both in their homes and places of work. Dries Company will be there to meet these challenges, whether we are designing a new system or servicing your existing equipment. We are a rapidly growing company that strives to meet and exceed all your expectations. No matter if you are looking to buy new appliances or need the help from one of our certified technicians, we are here for you. We pride ourselves in our installation and service. Dries Company, servicing the Carroll area since 1933. From puddings to framing to finish. For farm, home, or commercial, for more than 90 years, Wallach Lumber Company has been proud to help our communities grow. With four convenient locations and one of the largest building material inventories in the area, we are sure to be able to fill all your building needs. From project design and estimating to friendly advice, we can't wait to be part of the process for you. Wall Lake Lumber, with locations in Wall Lake, Lakeview, Odable, and Carroll. We're not your grandpa's lumber yard. We head to the fourth quarter here, coming to you live from the Gatorade broadcast booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. Jeff Blankman and Kate Chabel with you here tonight. Uh, the Tigers of Carroll leading Thomas Jefferson right now 10-6. As we start the fourth quarter, Carroll facing a third down and five from the TJ 40-yard line. And my guess is two down territory here. Yes, I would think two down territory too. Run the ball, get a short fourth down, and then go for it on fourth down. Langling will come out under center. Dirk splits out to the left. You've got to Mackey split to the right. They're running that stretch play out to Ludwig. He'll pick up the first down. Powers his way through a guy. Gets down inside the 30 down to the 29-yard line. A pickup of 11 on the play. 13 carries, 75 yards. And I made the mistake here a little bit ago saying if Carroll's struggling to run the football, all of a sudden they found a way to run the football again. Yeah, yes, they did. They just got a momentum spike and uh, found a way to keep the ball moving forward. And Ludwig is a he's showed off his power there. Kind of leveled a guy and got some extra yards. Yeah, I think I've seen him run through the backstop this year trying to get a foul ball over here at Merchants Park. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter what's in front of him. He's just going to run, right? Yeah, that's that's really true. <laughs> Mackey splits out to the left along with it. Dirk's pistol formation this time for Lingling. He wants to throw. He's got a man across the middle. It's completed to Dirk's cuts inside a tackler and now going to be wrapped up and brought down down at the 14-yard line. A pickup of 15 on the play and another Carroll Tiger first down. Yeah, Dirks ran a really great route, just kind of picked the hole where the safeties and linebackers weren't, and uh, Langling found him right away, and uh, good good communication by there, and uh, 
good play by Dirks to get some positive yards. Woodbury Central beginning to pull away a little bit from Carroll or from uh, Ikea Manning now up 34 to 14. Tigers with it first down and 10. Ball near the 14 yard line. Lingling Ling under center turns, gives it off again. Ludwig on that stretch play now cuts it back inside and fights his way inside the 10 down to the eight yard line. A pickup of six on the play. And it'll bring up second down and around up four to go. Good thing for the Tigers. They can pick up a first down kind of in between the 15 and the 14 yard line. A touchdown here to start this fourth quarter would be huge. Yes, it would. It would give them a lot of momentum and make the defense play a little better knowing that they can get a stop and still be comfortable with the two touchdown lead. Lang Lang again comes over and gets the play from the sideline. Now runs it out. Mackey will split out to the right. Dirks will split out here to the left. The Tigers have Ludwig in the slot now on the right side. Lang Lang sends it. Dirks in motion and now fumbles the football. He picks it up and Lang Lang makes a positive play on as he gets down inside the five down to the four yard line. That is going to be maybe enough to move the chains and it will be a Carroll first down. Heads up play second time tonight on a fumbled snap that Lang Lang's been able to pick it up and get something positive. Yeah, it could have been a turnover at worst, but uh, good job by him finding the ball and picking it up and just squeezing his way through the offensive line, pick up a first down. This drive started at the Carroll 22-yard line. This is the 11th play of that drive. And it all kind of happened when Nolan Moore picked up a low snap and picked up a first down on a fourth down and a six. Mackey will split out to the right. Dirk splits to the left. Ludwig lines up behind Lingling, who's under center. They turn, hand it off, and Ludwig fighting his way. He's going to be stopped just shy of the goal line. A pickup of three on that first down play. It'll bring up second down now and goal from the one-yard line. And this would be big if Ludwig could get himself into the end zone here. Yes, it would. I'm looking for them to just do the same play again. They're at the one-yard line, and it's only a second down. So they got plenty of downs to work with and short yardage so look for them to just keep pounding the ball down the throat to put one in the end zone Green County answered Kemper's field goal with a touchdown. They lead it 7-3 to three after 3. Tigers trying to stretch it here and now Ling, Ling keeps it and takes it in for the touchdown just got in behind his center who I think is Nolan Moore and uh, barrels his way into the end zone and the Tigers have stretched the lead now to 16-6 to six. Yeah, it's going to be a huge momentum swing for the Tigers getting getting back on the board and scoring in the second half. Uh, Nolan Moore set up that drive with extending the extending the drive with the fourth down conversion and uh, able to capitalize with the touchdown there. 8.52 left here in the football game. This could stretch it to an 11-point lead. Elijah Lee on for the extra point. Snap is down. The hold is there. The kick is up. It is good. And the Carroll Tigers lead it here 17 to 6. 8.52 left in the football game. Mr. Cade Shable and I are back in one minute with more Carroll Tiger football coming up here on KCIM. Trees Company! People Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team. Because together, everyone achieves more. Family owned and operated. St. Anthony Regional Hospital, the regional leader in healthcare, dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony. Kate, what's that touchdown do for Carroll Hero momentum-wise here late in the game? Uh, it gives the defense momentum knowing that they got a, a couple touchdown lead to work with and uh, not saying they can slack off at all, but it just makes them more relaxed. That way they can just 
just go out there and play and not have to worry about anything. Kickoff taken by Bovey. He'll return it out to the 33-yard line. That is where TJ will have it. First down and at 10 at their own 33. 8.45 left in this one. This is just their third possession as these offenses have kind of chewed up some clock on some of these drives. They chewed up about six minutes on their opening drive, and the Tigers showed up about six minutes there on that drive, Cade. So not a lot of possessions left in this game. Now the clock is on the Carroll Tigers side. Yes, it is. Uh, when both teams have been running the ball a lot, so when you run the ball, it kind of takes time off the clock when you instead of passing. But uh, look for them to just keep running the ball and maybe even work in some pass plays. Schubert out of the shotgun. He's got Schofield lined up to his right. Actually, that's Bovey number three. He's got four wide receivers to the wide side of the field, which is the left side. Fakes the handoff, throws a quick one out. He was looking for B now, and that one is going to fall incomplete. He is 10 of 16 now unofficially on the night for 118 yards and a touchdown. But more importantly for Carroll, it'll bring up second down and 10 for Thomas Jefferson. As a guy that played a little bit of, you know, tight end and stuff, did you like the blocking for the run plays or did you like going out on some pass patterns? Uh, I liked it both, actually. I liked the blocking so I could help my running back get some positive yards. And I also liked catching passes and getting, getting some positive yards and being able to catch it and run. Pancake blocks, did you like those? Was it was it just fun running oh, somebody over? Oh, I love those, yeah. <laughs> it's really fun doing that. Johan splits out here to the right. Two wide receivers out to the left for TJ. 17-6, Carroll, 841 left in the football game. They throw it out to Kaus from Schubert. He's trying to get that left sidelines, picks up the first down. Is he Now he loses the football and ends up going out of bounds. The ball did at the 48-yard line, so that's going to be a pickup of 16. He kind of tried to cut, stop and cut, and when he did that, the ball popped up into the air. Yeah, he's lucky the ball went out of bounds. Otherwise, he had a lot of Carroll defenders around him, so Carroll most likely would have got a turnover out of that. He has been a danger for Carroll, though, here. Eight catches, 100 yards for him unofficially receiving here tonight. Yeah, he's been, he's been having a really good game, and Schubert's been doing a really good job of finding him the ball. Our Weaver leading Glenn Ralston 39-25 over on KKRL. That one at the end of the third quarter. Schubert again out of the shotgun. Two wide receivers out to the right, one to the left. Now run the option. Schubert going to keep it, and the Tigers got a hold of him and pulled him down at the 49-yard line, a one-yard gain. He hurt Carroll in that first quarter and even into the second quarter. But the Tigers, did, you talked about them pinching their defensive ends a little bit tighter. Is that what they did? Because he has not been a factor in the run game here in the second half. Yes, they have been doing that. Uh, I've been watching them a little bit. They've pinched their defenders down a little bit, forcing them to kind of run their option play a little tighter and not be able to run as wide and making Schubert have to cut back up the middle to be effective with his running game. Johan splits out to the right, two wide receivers to the left. Shotgun formation again for Schubert. He'll take the snap, wants to throw, pump fake. Now he goes downfield. He has got Kaus down there. He's going to make the catch, and he is going to take it in for the touchdown. A 51-yard touchdown catch for Thomas Jefferson. And just like that, they're back within one score with 7.42 left here in the football game. This one a long way from being over. Yeah, it just kind of made Mackey over the, made a move to make Mackey kind of hesitate a little bit and then just got a step on him and just easy running catch and walked in for the touchdown. What has Kaus been doing that, that's been allowing him? Because Mackey, a good defender out there, what's he been doing to get open as much as he has? Uh, it was kind of a fade route, so he kind of hesitated and did a little head movement towards the inside and then planted his foot and just kind of went, went to the outside and got Mackey turned around a little bit. They are going to go for two here, try to make this a field goal ball game. 17-12, Carroll with the lead, 7.42 left. Schubert out of the shotgun, takes it, wants to roll out, now tucks it back in, and he scrambles now out to the left. It's a foot race to the corner, and he's going to beat everybody there. That is just an athletic two-point conversion that time by Schubert. Started right, everything was taken away. As I leaned back to look through a different window here in the press box, all of a sudden I didn't see him come that way. I looked back through the regular window and he was coming out on the left side. But the two-point conversion is good. It's 17-14, 7.42 left here in the fourth quarter. Kate and I are back in one minute here on KCIM. At Roosevelt Mutual Insurance, a partner of Grinnell Mutual, we understand teamwork. We believe that hard work pays off and we know it takes coming together to win. Our team values community and supporting each other. Now's the time to get back at it and return to the field to support our local athletes. 
To help promote that culture, we are working with Jeff Storyhand to capture our youth in photos from local events, and they will be shared with you on our Facebook page. Experience working together as a winning team. Call Roselle Mutual today at 792-4525 for all your insurance needs. From puddings to framing to finish. For farm, home, or commercial, for more than 90 years, Wallach Lumber Company has been proud to help our communities grow. With four convenient locations and one of the largest building material inventories in the area, we are sure to be able to fill all your building needs. From project design and estimating to friendly advice, we can't wait to be part of the process for you. Wall Lake Lumber, with locations in Wall Lake, Lakeview, Odable, and Carroll. We're not your grandpa's lumber yard. Travis Brinks out there filming for us here tonight. I'm sure he did a great job on that touchdown catch and two-point conversion as TJ cuts it to 17-14. Our video tonight is going to go to YouTube. Search 1380 KCIM. You can watch and listen to Kate do the broadcast uh, while you watch the game. And again, that video production is being powered by New Way Ford. Short kick picked up by Richardson. He is going to fake it again on that reverse and now tries to take it out. He's got a seam, cuts it back into the middle of the field. He's got a chance here. He's going to be wrapped up and brought down at around the 47-yard line. Another big return for Remy Richardson. Yeah, Richardson's been having a good return game. Uh, took the first one all the way down to the 10-yard line. This one about to the 47-yard line. So good job by them. They're kind of messing with Thomas Jefferson with Dirks and Richardson back there kind of faking the handoff making them have to guess who has the ball but uh, good job by Richardson so Cade seven and a half left Tigers up by three got the ball at the 47 do they need to score on this one or can they just chew up a lot of clock yeah they can chew up a lot of clock clock uh, they've been running the ball really good recently so I look for them to just run the ball and try and drain some clock and you know that Thomas Jefferson going to know they're going to want to run the ball and try to drain some clock, so they're going to try to take that away. They hand it off to Ludwig. He's got a little running room. Breaks a tackle. Slips inside the 40 and knocked down near the 38-yard line. Going to be about a yard shy of the first down. It'll bring up second down and a one, and that's how you stay out in front of the chains. But Ludwig bent over backwards, and Cooper now limping off of the field. And that is going to be a loss for the Carroll Tigers. We'll see who they send in for him. Uh, they sent Jair Gallagos. It's like Jair, yep, Jair Gallagos, number 10, coming onto the field. So Gallagos has carried the ball this year. He does have one carry for one yard. We'll see if they put a little more weight right now on Lingling here, the senior under center. He's got a receiver split out here to the left. That is at Dirks. Mackey splits out to the right. They'll turn. They hand it off. Gallagos, he's got some running room. Cuts it back inside. He shows he's a tough runner. Gets down inside the 30, down to the 28-yard line. That'll be a pickup of a 10 on his first carry here tonight. And the Tigers move the chains. Yeah, good good blocking by the uh, lineman again. Gallagos just hit the outside edge and then made a couple guys miss to get even more yards. Audubon up on Fremont Mills Tabor, 42-12. One second left in the third quarter. Here, Carroll leading at 17-14, 6-20 left in this one. Our motor end player of the game coming up following the ballgame. Motor end of Carrier, premier Toyota Chevy and Buick dealership for everything from sales to service to parts in collision. Mackey will split out to the right, Dirks to the left, two tight ends set. Hammer here on the left side, Lingling under center, turns, gives it off. And again, Gallagos cuts it back inside, started left and still fighting his way forward, gets down to the 21-yard line, a pickup of seven on the play, and it'll bring up a second down, and again, only about to three yards to go. You want to keep yourself in short situations here, don't you? Yes, you do. You want to just keep running the ball like they have been doing, picking up, making it short yard situation so they can just keep pounding on four, or first downs and then eventually get into the end zone. Mackey Motors post game show coming up following the ball game tonight. Mackey Motors find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Lingling again under centers. Got a receiver out to the right and one to the left. It's Dirks to the left and at Mackey to the right. Changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Three seconds left on the play clock. Turns, hands it off. Gallagos, or excuse me. Yes, Gallagos had some running room but slipped down at the 19, a yard shy of the first down. And it'll bring up third down now and a one to go. Clock continues to tick. We'll go under five minutes. Tigers will have to snap it at around four and a half minutes left here in the football game. Big third down. Tigers definitely, I think, 
into down territory. Even though they're getting in Elijah Lee's range for a field goal, that would stretch the lead. But I think if they can keep the clock running, they're probably in favor of that. Yes, they are. And I'm looking for them to just get it into two down territory and just get this first down and keep the drive alive. Langeling under center. He's going to keep it, and he sneaks through, and he finds a hole, and he's going to get down to the 14-yard line, a pickup of a five on the play for Ethan Langling, and that is going to be another first down for the Carroll Tankers. It'll stop the clock as they move the chains. Big first down for Carroll. Now they've got a chance to eat a couple of more minutes at least off of this clock if they don't punch it in the end zone sooner. Yeah, and Thomas Jefferson still has all three of their timeouts left, so interested to see when they decide to use those if Carroll continues to have the ball. Jeff Blankman, Cade Chabel, coming to you live from the Gatorade Broadcast Booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. Mackey out to the right, Dirks to the left. Lingling under center, and again, just trying to sneak it through, and that time, not as much success, but they'll take it down to the 11-yard line. Still picked up three on the play. It'll bring up second down and seven. They can get a first down down at around the four-yard line. Clock continues to roll here. 340 left here in the football game. Now, Thomas Jefferson with all three of their timeouts left, Cade. When do you think they start to use those? Uh, it all depends on what Carroll decides to do with their play call. And they ran that quarterback sneak play again just to try and eat up some clock. Um, I would say probably when it hits the two, two minutes, two and a half minutes left mark, they start to use them a little more. I don't see a Ludwig down here being worked on on the bench, but he is walking around, so um, looks like he's just trying to walk off whatever happened. Lingling trying to keep it. He's got a block out on the edge, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds, but he's going to pick up a first down, down it around the two-yard line, a pickup down to the one, a pickup of 10 on the play for Lingling. It's first down and goal for the Carroll Tigers. Yeah, really good play designed by Coach Roetter. Fake the handoff and roll out to the, roll out to the left, and Lingling had wide open grass and was just short of a touchdown. So do you know this offense well enough from years past? Has it changed some? Can you tell kind of based off the sets what they're going to do? Uh, I can a little bit, but uh, it, it's changed a little bit. They're more under center this year. Langling going to keep it under center, and he is going to fall into the end zone. They're going to say his butt was down. His backside was down before he crossed the goal line. So it's not going to be a touchdown. It'll be second down and goal. And Carroll's okay with that. If TJ doesn't call any timeouts, they're going to be able to burn another 30-some seconds off of the game clock here. Yes, they are. And second down and one, um, they got plenty of time. They're most, most likely going to punch it in the end zone. Surprised in a way here that TJ not calling a timeout in this situation. Yeah. And now one of the officials down near the goal line comes up, talks to Coach Rowetter, so they're going to call a timeout. Carroll will, I think, with just a couple of seconds left on the play clock, and there it is. The play clock gets down to 2. 2.19 left here in the football game. Carroll has its second and goal from the one inside the one-yard line. We'll be back in 30 seconds here on KCIM. At Newey Ford and Coon Rapids and Newey Auto and Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs, with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you, from our Oil Changes for Life program to our exclusive warranty forever. We work to keep your new way vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. The Western Iowa Network should get more and more speed when working from home, more movie time with the family with no buffering, and more saving with a locking in your internet price for two years. Call or text 712-775-2946 or go to westianet.com for details. Jeff Lankman, Cade Shabo with you, Nathan Cones back in the studio, Tom Hawkapp, and also Jim Molitor getting set for that new way Ford scoreboard show coming up following the games here from 10 to midnight on KCIM and Kick 106.7. You're listening to high school football coverage here tonight, 13 1980 AM, 95.1 FM, KCIM, Carroll, Iowa. Carroll Tigers have its second down and goal from inside the TJ one yard line. 219 left in the game. Carroll up 17-14. Ethan Lingling going to take the snap, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. A one-yard touchdown plunge from Ethan Lingling, and the Carroll Tigers have extended the lead and maybe put this one away. Yeah, just ran that quarterback sneak play. 
three plays in a row and it uh, burned some clock and gave the Tigers a chance to extend their lead even further. 2.17 left in this football game. And now it'll be Elijah Lee on to attempt the extra point. Lee again has kicked the ball well here tonight. There's the snap, the holds down, the kick is up, and he remains perfect on PATs this season as the Tigers stretch the lead to 24 to 14. We'll step away back in one minute with the last couple of minutes of Carroll Tiger football for you here on KCIM. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team. Because together, everyone achieves more. Family owned and operated since 1948. Quant Auto Salvage is the area's best full service scrap facility. Whether you are looking to sell scrap iron, vehicles, or batteries, or you need to locate that difficult to find part for your vehicle, they have what you need. And if it isn't in stock, they can locate it with their nationwide parts database, or you can pull it yourself at their You Pull It. Quant Auto Salvage. They sell the best and recycle the rest on Kitty Hawk Avenue in. Elijah Lee looking for that third touchback of the season. Unless they squib this one here, he is going to go deep. A high end over end kick. It'll be Tobin back at around the six yard line. Tries to come back up the middle. Actually, that's Johan's number six. And he is going to be wrapped up and brought down out at around the 28 yard line. And that is where Thomas Jefferson will start it with a 209 left here in the football game. And, okay, this looks like right now it's going to be a good win here for the Carroll Tigers tonight as they'll move to two and one on the season. Yes, it does look pretty good. Uh, Tigers played really good in the second half. Thomas Jefferson gave him some fits on offense, but for the most part, it was a good game by both teams, and uh, this game will just make the Tigers better for Storm Lake next week. Yeah, well-played game if you think about it. Five penalties is all combined between the two teams. We don't have a turnover here tonight, so both teams playing pretty much mistake-free football here tonight. Yeah, they've both been playing really good. Schubert out of the shotgun. Carroll will come with some pressure off of the edge. He pump fake wants to go again. He is looking down for Tobin and great coverage by Mackey. We've got a flag on the play. The ball is going to fall incomplete and we've got uh, a, another cramp out here for Tobin. And Nick Mackey quickly starts working that leg to work it out, but we do have a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Looks like it's going to be, I think, against the defense. They're still discussing it. I thought maybe the official had gotten it. It's got to be from the line of scrimmage. Defensive pass in number three. It's, that'll be marked 15 yards from the previous spot. First and 10, Thomas Jefferson. And you hear the crowd yelling, and I understand what they're yelling for. We had a really good look on our side of the field. The intended receiver that time, Tolman, um, kind of reached out and grabbed Mackey as the ball was in the air and kind of threw Mackey past him, and then Mackey had to kind of come back into him to try and make a play on the ball. So the initial fighting and, and contact was created by the offensive player. Yeah, but uh, they always go by the end result when the ball's coming to him, so... Unfortunately, a win against the Tigers' way, but hopefully they can get a stop again. Tiger sideline not happy with that call, but it will be first down and 10 now at the 43-yard line. 2.02 left here in the football game. Stay with us for our Mackey Motors postgame show. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Schubert again out of the shotgun. Got two wide receivers out here to the right and two to the left. Wants to throw out to the flat. It is complete by Kaus. He is battling, and now he fumbles the football. We said we hadn't had a turnover, and that time the Carroll Tigers create one, and they will be able to run out the game clock and come away with a 10-point victory here tonight. Yeah, just tried to, Thomas Jefferson guy just tried to shove the Carroll defender off, and as he's doing it, the ball popped out, and then Carroll defender just fell right on it, allowed Thomas Jefferson to turn the ball over. 
So the Tigers will have it here at their own 47 yard line. And again, a minute 55 left. Now, TJ does have all three timeouts remaining. It'll be interesting to see if they use them here. Tigers come with a Dirk split out here to the left. Mackey splits to the short side of the field. His ball's on the right hash mark, so he split to the right. Langling under center, turns, hands it off, and that is a Galagos. Galagos finds a seam, pops it out, slips through a couple of tackles, and keeps fighting his way, dragging guys with him all the way down to the 37-yard line. That is going to be a 20-yard gain on the play, and I'll tell you what, the Tigers have got two really tough runners in Galagos and Cooper Ludwig. Yes, they do. Both wrestlers, so they're both yep. very, very tough kids to bring down and uh, very athletic and very competitive and they'll always fight for those extra yards. And you were a wrestler. What are the benefits of wrestling and playing football? Because the two sports kind of go hand in hand, especially for, you know, your bigger guys, your linemen, and, and then for your linebackers and stuff, that stuff. So it, it's a sport that for defensive type guys and linemen, it's really good. Yeah, it makes you stronger than it keeps you keeps you keep it like trains you to have a low center of gravity so it's hard to bring down and it's helpful on the defensive side as linebackers well hand it off again Galagos again with some running room sidesteps the guy he's got the sideline cuts it back inside he's got a chance to take it in for the touchdown nope gonna say he went out of bounds at the 21 they finally got him not tackled him but everybody finally heard the whistle when he got down to the two yard line but he'll be out of bounds at the 21 yard line so that'll be another big gain for the tigers and another another first down yeah nice nice job of by galagos making people miss when he can but uh, unfortunately he stepped out of bounds otherwise he had six points written all over that run Mackey out to the right, Dirks again to the left. Galagos will line up about three yards in the backfield. Lingling goes under center. Clock stop with a minute four remaining. Tigers up here 24-14. They'll take the snap, handoff, give it off to Galagos again, trying to get that edge, cuts it back inside, and he'll be brought down inside the 15, down to the 14, a pickup of seven on the play. And it'll bring up second down now. Let's call it about three yards to go. And Thomas Jefferson has used their first time out. We'll step away with them back in 30 seconds. Carroll Tigers looking to move to two and one on the season. At Carroll County. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team because together, everyone achieves more. Well, bad news for the Carroll Tigers is now Jaira Gallagos limps over here to the sideline and to the bench. One of his teammates taking a look at him, and now Steve Shabel coming over to take a look at him as well. Not for sure if he's just cramping up down there or if uh, maybe got that ankle twisted a little bit on that last tackle is uh, Steve down there talking with him right now and taking a look at him. It's 57 seconds left. Tigers have it second down and three from the 14-yard line. Now they're first down here, and they can pretty much just salt this one away. It looks like he's either maybe a twisted ankle or a cramp, and he's just trying to walk it off the way it looks. Yeah, it looks like that. So a big win here for Carroll if they hold on here in this final minute. They'll move to two and one on the season. They'll go to Storm Lake next week. Rolling out and looking down as Lingling throws it towards the end zone and over his intended receiver. The ball will fall incomplete. And that is going to bring up now third down and three to go with 51 seconds left here in the football game. Motor in player of the game coming up following the ball game. We'll have a lengthy discussion on that. Booyer Valley leading Coon Rapids Bear 36-34. That's at the end of the third quarter. Woodbury Central up now. ICAM Manning 41-14. Uh, that is a final score. So the Wolves will fall to one and two on the season. Corey McCarville, the head coach for ICAM Manning, will join Tom Hawkamp and Jim Molitor as part of the New Way Ford scoreboard show coming up tonight on KCIM and Kick from 10 to midnight. Lingaling under center turns, hands the football off. And not much running room up the middle. I did not catch the number of who it was, but uh, both 
Gala goes, I think, and Ludwig still over here on the sideline. So I got to catch to figure out who they snuck in there as their tailback that time. We're going to get another timeout called by Tam Thomas Jefferson. They said Gallagos had slipped back in there. I thought I saw him over here on the sidelines. Yeah, he's still yeah, over here on the sidelines. So I, I don't know who had that carry. We'll figure it out. We'll come back in 30 seconds, and we'll tell you. Back with more football here on KCIM. Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. Coming to you live from the Gatorade Broadcast booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. And that was uh, Mr. Tiggis, uh, Austin Tiggis, on the uh, coverage there. Or I should say on the carry. No one-yard gain on the play for the Tigers. It's fourth down and 245 seconds left here in the football game. A first down for the Tigers would seal the deal. They could just kneel on the ball and run out the clock. But they've got to get two yards here to pick that one up. Now Lingling looks to throw, and he's going to throw it incomplete. So the Tigers will turn it over on downs. And now Thomas Jefferson will have it. Lingling going to finish 3 of 13 tonight, 65 yards with a touchdown. And TJ will have the football at about their own 13-yard line. So Carroll probably going to hold on unless we get a big play. Then things could get really interesting, and we've seen that. They've got a 51-yard touchdown pass already on the night. So would not put it, you know, would not say it's an impossible thing as Isak falls to OABCIG 46-7, to the final there tonight. Cade and I will recap this game. It's part of our Mackie Motors postgame show. Schubert out of the shotgun. Two wide receivers on each side. Pressure comes from Ponto, and they're going to sandwich him back inside the five. They're going to mark him right at the five-yard line. A loss of eight on the play. And it'll bring up second down now and around 13 yards to go, and I don't know if they're going to try for another snap. Some of their guys not really hustling back. They've got time, 18 seconds left, but... You've got guys kind of walking back to the line of scrimmage, so I don't know if Thomas Jefferson will even attempt another play here. Some of their guys now heading over to the sidelines. Um, and that looks like it's going to do it, Cade. Looks like the clock's going to run out, and the Carroll Tigers are going to pick up a 24-14 victory here tonight as the Tigers will move to 2-1 and one on the season. TJ will fall to 0-2 on the year. Cade, as we head into the Mackey Motors postgame show, some early thoughts on this one. Uh, both sides of the ball played really good for both teams. Uh, Thomas Jefferson early on kind of shut down Carroll's run game and uh, took away Carroll's long passing game. And on, on the flip side, Thomas Jefferson offensively with Schubert at quarterback, he was very, very, I don't know how to say, he was a dual threat in the first half, using his legs and his arm right away, and he gave um, the Tigers some fits. But... In the second half, not very much going for him. Carroll kind of figured it out and what's going on with him. And uh, overall, a really good defensive game for both teams. But the Tigers come out on top. So Tigers have one, two straight. We'll start the Mackey Motors postgame show. That's coming up after this three-minute timeout here on KCIM. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team because together, everyone achieves more. Family owned and operated since 1948. 
Quant Auto Salvage is the area's best full-service scrap facility. Whether you are looking to sell scrap iron, vehicles, or batteries, or you need to locate that difficult-to-find part for your vehicle, they have what you need. And if it isn't in stock, they can locate it with their nationwide parts database, or you can pull it yourself at their You Pull It. Quant Auto Salvage. They sell the best and recycle the rest on Kitty Hawk Avenue in Carroll. At Roswell Mutual Insurance, a partner of Grinnell Mutual, we understand teamwork. We believe that hard work pays off and we know it takes coming together to win. Our team values community and supporting each other. Now's the time to get back at it and return to the field to support our local athletes. To help promote that culture, we are working with Jeff Storyhand to capture our youth in photos from local events and they will be shared with you on our Facebook page. Experience working together as a winning team. Call Roselle Mutual today at 792-4525 for all your insurance needs. Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory trained technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. St. Anthony Regional Hospital, the regional leader in healthcare, dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony. Nice win for the Carroll Tigers here tonight on at KCIM. Jeff Blankman, Kate Chable with you. You're listening to the Mackey Motors uh, postgame show. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. And thanks to all of the good folks up there at uh, Mackey Motors. They've been our pre- and post-game sponsor and have helped sponsor a lot of different things with Carroll Broadcasting with the years over the years through all of our sports coverage. So we certainly appreciate that. We are coming to you live as well from the Gatorade Broadcast booth distributed by Pepsi Beverages in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes feel, recover, and perform. It got tight, folks. Uh, it was a 17-14 game with just a few minutes left in this football game, but the Carroll Tigers got enough. They got the running game going in the second half with Cooper Ludwig and with uh, Jaira Gallagos and then Ethan Lingling um, with a couple of really short one-yard touchdown runs. So the defense, I, I, they took Schubert away, I thought, in the second half, at least with his legs, and made him more more one-dimensional here in this second half than he was in the first half. Um, good overall team win, I think, Kid. Yes, it was very good. Um, offense, defense played really good. Special teams came out really good. Opening kickoff took that all the way to the 10-yard line. That was really good. Um, offensively, first half was a little rough with the running game, mm-hmm. but second half they got better with it, got it figured out, and gave Cooper Ludwig some some holes to work with. And then the passing game second half got better as well with Nick Mackey scoring on a touchdown and Zach Durst getting a nice catch and big yardage on that one too um early on they had that short pass kind of figured out just a couple miscues there but overall good game for the tigers and uh also constables thomas jefferson they played really good as well talk about the 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 carroll defensive front um they're not probably going to get enough credit i'm sure they will in the film room but they changed up what they were doing. They were getting a little wide. They were kind of going by, maybe not going in as under control in the first half as what they needed to with the quarterback like like Schubert. But about partway through the second quarter, you started to see the adjustments. They shut down one of the better running quarterbacks you're going to probably see. 15 carries, 25 yards. Now, he lost some of that with, I think, three or four big sacks where he was losing eight or ten yards. But you hold that guy to under two yards per carry. That That's an impressive performance from that defensive front. Yes, it is. Early on, they were over-pursuing, which gave 
meaning they were going too far up the field, which allowed Schubert to cut up the field and use his legs to get some extra yards. But they made some adjustments. They shot in a little tighter so they could collapse the pocket a little bit, and that seemed to work pretty well as Schubert didn't do much with his legs after that. Carroll sitting 2-1 and one now. Let's peek ahead. They've got Storm Lake next week. Very winnable game. That could move them to 3-1. and one. That would be a three-game winning streak. They've got some really tough teams coming up later in the season. Winnable games, mm -hmm. but teams that are ranked and, and, and probably the top part of the conference or the district. So next week, I think, going to be a big one for them because if they get that one, then they're sitting three and one, kind of heading into that back half of the season with those stronger teams coming up, but they're going to go into those games with a lot of confidence. Yes, it is. It's going to be a huge confidence boost for them. And if they can win next week, it'll get them really confident to get ready for district play because they got a tough district with Boyden Hole, Rock Valley, mm -hmm. Sergeant Bluff, MOC Floyd Valley, and Bishop Heelan. They're all tough teams, always have been. So if they can win next week, it'll be a huge confidence booster for them going into district play. Tigers win it here again at tonight, 24-14. to Let's run you through the unofficial stats here tonight for Carroll. Uh, Ludwig, 19, uh, 16 carries, 93 yards. Lingling, 8 carries, 26 yards, 2 touchdowns. Dirks, 2 carries, negative 1 yards. Uh, Moore, 1 carry for 10 yards. Gallego, 6 carries for 62 yards. And Tigges, uh, 1 carry uh, for 1 yard here tonight. So the Tigers run for 192 yards. Passing-wise, that's an area they'll need to continue to work on. They've got the athletes. Lingling Ling throws a nice football, but they've got to get kind of on the same page or something here. Uh, just 3 of 13 for 65 yards tonight. Did have the 138-yard touchdown to Nick Mackey. He had the one catch for 38 yards. That was a Dirks with two catches for 27 yards. So uh, the Tigers 65 yards passing, 192 yards uh, rushing for a total offense of uh, 257. Um, for TJ tonight, uh, Subert, uh, 15 carries, 25 yards. Bovey uh, had one carry for a negative one yards. Schofield, 12 carries for 49 yards. So they had uh, 73 yards rushing. They had 74 in the first half. So the Tigers really stuffing that rushing game in the second half. But the pass game got going a little bit. Schubert, 13 of 19, 195 yards and a pair of touchdowns here tonight. Uh, Kaus did finish up uh, with 10 catches on the night, 161 yards two touchdowns and a fumble. It was Joe Hans, two catches, three yards, and uh, Bovey ended up uh, with uh, one catch tonight uh, for 31 yards. So they had 195 yards passing, 73 yards on the ground for a total offense of 268. We'll step away. We've got our motor and player of the game. That's coming up for you next. We're back in two minutes right here on KCIM. Hi, this is Don Neri with Avala Bank. We're proud of our local students and coaches' hard work and dedication to their schools and teams.